welcome back. Oh, I just realized, of course, I'm in the wrong stream scene. Hold on, give me two seconds. It might break, but one sec. It didn't break, okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, we're gonna play some Sims today. Um, I was thinking we could do some building and stuff uh, and that would be fun. Maybe like something Valentine's Day themed, I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll figure out how it goes. <laughs> the world is our oyster, we can do whatever, you know, it should be a good time. Um, let me see if you can see the game and then we can actually play a little bit. I hope you had a good day so far today. Um, we did have today, uh, there was a small Sims update. They they added, I mean, actually it was kind of a big Sims update, um, but it was an SDX drop. So like, in terms of updates, small, because <laughs> it wasn't actually a patch. Uh, but it, they added Vitiligo into the game. So there's a ton, a ton of new skin details, like so many new skin details um, in cast now. So uh, that's pretty cool that they did that. Um, they posted about it online and stuff. They did a collab and they've got like blog posts. It's uh, kind of a, a fun feature that they added for us. I always appreciate when they do more for representation in the game. So kind of a big win. I did post a YouTube video about it um, like around an hour ago. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can watch it there. Um, and you can also read and see on the homepage <laughs> because they're kind of featuring it. So uh, Beal and Curious, Mazzy, Controlled, Ava, Breezy, Mac, Emmy, Sarah, Cass, Lulu, and Caleb, and Songbird. And Hanley, and Bagel, and Julia, and Katsu, and Tella, and Katz, and, and Cray, thank you all for the subs, everybody. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so I think, let me try and just load into a random save so we can do this. Um, maybe I shall build it from in here. I don't know. Yeah, I think that the, um, so the Sims team, they did like a recreation of her real life house. And it just, it was really cool. It was really well done, I thought. I don't know, I had fun watching that little video about it. <laughs> I really enjoyed watching the video they made. Um, but anyway, we're going to build today. Uh, and like I was saying, I don't really know what I want it to be like just yet. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing something, I don't know. I, I kind of want to have it just be like pink vibes. Uh, I'll tell you, I built this to post on YouTube tomorrow, so we can't do anything too much because I do already have a build for for YouTube. Um, Heart-shaped house? I don't know if I want to do that. I, was, I wasn't thinking so like um, aggressively Valentine's Day. I was thinking like subtle, you know? I've done my fair share of heart-shaped houses. You can do them with like round walls, you can do them with like, you know, straight walls. All such things are bad. A community lot for dates? Oh. Hmm. That might be fun. Like what kind of date though? Like when you say, cause that's very bold and, and broad. Just dates, I don't know. A cafe. We could build a cafe. I guess that could be kind of cute. Maybe in, you know, in Windenburg, they have a couple nice lots over here. We could do it on the default cafe lot. Um, Sierra, Audra, Chloe, and Flu, and Michelle, and Alex, and Hex, and Devin, and Tiggy, and Frog, and Maple, and KP, and Disco, and, and Crystal, and TJ, and Blue. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, let me think about this, because the problem is, I don't think I'm that good at building community lots. And today has been such a day, you guys. I, if I, I don't know if, like, today's the best time to be building a cafe, <laughs> you know? But maybe it'll be fun. I do like, uh, this area has like some pretty pink trees and stuff. I used to have my Sims get engaged underneath those trees a lot back when like the Sims 4 get together first came out. I used to really like it. Um, but I haven't been over there in a long time. I don't just like come out here and wander around Windenburg as much anymore as we used to. We used to do that a lot. Um, but now there's so many more worlds, so. You don't really have to anymore. <laughs> um, Zach and Tomatoes and Tesla, thank you for the subs. Um, there's no patch, just the SDX. Yeah, it wasn't a patch, it was the SDX drop. Um, when was the last patch patch? It was like at the end of January, right? So they probably won't have a patch patch until the end of February. <sighs> Who knows? <laughs> but it was an SDX drop. It seems like when, whenever they're adding new content, they've been doing it in SDX drops recently. 
instead of in a patch. And yeah, they do a patch every month. Um, there isn't an SDX drop every month though. So, can I have a heart-shaped pool slash fountain for it? Maybe. I'd have to think about, let me see if I can find some interesting photos. I struggle a lot with the exterior um, of stuff like this. Like, I never know how I want it to look from the outside. I feel like I'm just really not good at this kind of thing. <laughs> um, but I don't know, maybe we could do something where it's like shop on the bottom and we could have like an apartment on the top. And uh, but that, I don't know if that's the vibes. I don't know if it's gonna be modern. Enough. I don't know if it's gonna be, I see, I didn't think I was gonna build this today and now everyone wants me to do a coffee shop and I don't feel like I'm ready. <laughs> I didn't know, I wasn't planning on this. Um, okay. Uh, I think that... Uh, Alicia, Christine, me, Mel B, and Amazing, and Raven, and Hallie, and Joy, and Mom, and everybody, thank you for the subs. I don't know, I gotta think. I'm looking at more photos of coffee shops. One of the ones that I thought was interesting was this one. Can you see that? Yeah. I think that's kind of cute. But I don't know if that fits in with this vibe. We want it to be pink also, so that's something else to consider. Hmm... I think we could do something like this. It would be pretty. Should just do a pink suburban. No, we're gonna be brave. Um, building a coffee shop. I'm changing the stream title. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Pink tea shop? Well, I'm just gonna make it a cafe, so you can buy any sort of drink in there pretty much. I'm not gonna try and class it as like a tea shop specifically because then we'll probably struggle with it a lot, you know? Maybe this in Copperdale. Oh, you think I should do it in Copperdale instead? I feel like I build that kind of thing a lot in Copperdale though. We haven't built in this area of Windenburg in a long time. So, I don't know. How am I feeling? I don't know, Amber. Today I've not been thriving, both emotionally and physically. It's not been going very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the Copperdale lighting is ick. The Copperdale lighting is not so good. I don't really like it. Um, it's so green in Copperdale, like everywhere, you know? Um, okay, let me just see. And we'll start. We'll just start building, and then if we have to bulldoze it and start again, that's fine. We can do whatever. <laughs> Frank, Julia, Brad, Chelsea, Jax. Um, thank you for the subs, everybody. I appreciate that. Did I catch Dan's COVID? No, Allie, the thing is, uh, Dan tested positive first, but I don't think it's a Dan's COVID. I think it's a us COVID. <laughs> I don't know. I think that we've got it at the same time. <laughs> so it's not like he gave me anything. It's more like we both got it, you know? <laughs> um, okay, anyway. Can you buy wedding cakes and flowers here, please? I don't know. Let's, we're, we're making a long list. We have to, we need to have a list that's shorter. We need to do this one step at a time. Because otherwise, we, we got it. all we know right now is cafe. And then from there, we can start thinking about other stuff, okay? <laughs> the list is, it's a cafe and it's pink. And then from there, we can begin to consider other things. <laughs> we need to like, be careful about how much we're putting on the, um, <laughs> on the to-do list here, though, I fear. Uh, otherwise, we're not gonna be very happy about the end of it. Um, I don't know. We're just gonna experiment, okay? Let's start experimenting and then we'll go from there. So, I know, the only thing I know so far is that I wanna have, uh, pink, like, something like this on the outside. I know, if we have multifunctional lots, that would be so fun. Because what I'm going to end up doing with this is putting, like, a fake apartment upstairs. But you can't actually use the apartment upstairs. It's all pretend. And that's just heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. So, anyway. I like the color of that, though. I think that's pretty. This reminds me of when I was younger and Get to Work first came out. Should it be like, no, I'm sat here thinking maybe it should be two stores. No, that's a bad idea, Lil Simsy. You haven't got a single clue what you're talking about. It could just be storage upstairs. Oh, you think so? I don't 
know. Bikes outside? Yeah, that would be cute. We can do stuff like that. So it's gonna have like, um, some, you know, it's gonna be an actual cafe, functional cafe in game, so. One could be a restaurant. I don't know. I don't think I want it to be a multi, multi-purpose lot in that way. I'm not really feeling too excited about the thought of it being like multiple lots all at once because that's so not functional. Like we're, we're kind of trying to build something here that is like useful for going on dates with your Sims. And then the second you start being like, oh, let's have it be a restaurant and a cafe and an apartment and a museum. And like, it's like, it, it can only be one of those things at once, you know? Um, what about bookstore vibes upstairs? I like that idea. We can try and do something like that instead of having an apartment upstairs. Might be more useful. Oh my god, I just closed out of my event list. Hold on. Sorry, chat. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix it. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. Um, pull it back up. Okay. My bad. Seating with bookshelves. Yeah, wouldn't that be cute? And it can be like kind of fun and pastel and pink inside. Um... Okay, I don't know how I managed to close this by accident. <laughs> uh, Ilse and Lilith and Dr. Sunrise and Junimo and Jax and Rosie, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Well, we've basically done nothing so far. So that's good. Um, limited packs? Oh, I don't know what the packs are gonna look like on this one. We'll see about that. <laughs> We shall see about that part. I don't really know yet. Um, okay. No need for limited packs? You don't think so, Tilly? Okay, I'm getting a lot of mixed signals from the chat then. No, I don't drink coffee at all, Louisa. I've never, I've never been a big coffee person. Um, so, I'm not the target audience of this place. <laughs> um, I'm not the target audience of this place. This is really small. The lot is so big. I do think that it being um, relatively small is not a bad thing. Maybe make that a bit wider. Oh, that's the same width as the back. Okay, maybe that's not so good. You can be wide like this though. Park outside? Well, we're gonna have something like that, but even then, the lot is very big. Bigger than it needs to be. That's okay, we'll think about it. Um, you don't think we need to limit packs because you doubt it'll use that many anyway? You think so, Tilly? I don't know, it's hard to say. We can probably have, I like the idea of maybe some sort of rooftop. So we know we have get to work already, so that's unavoidable. But maybe if we had like, Hold on. How did I get the idea to build a coffee shop today? Oh, peer pressure. The answer to your question is peer pressure. So. <laughs> the chat was like, don't build a house, build a community lot. And now I just did that wrong. What? How did I manage that? Go back. And anyway, now here we are, so. <laughs> That's what we're up to at the moment. <laughs> okay, so I kind of want it to be something like that. I think that would be cool if there was like, oh no. Where's my... Really? Why? Why, 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 why? If I move this over and then I shrink this, can you please not do that? Parking lot to fill up space? Uh, yeah, I guess that's not too bad. The problem with the parking lot idea is that parking lots um, are completely unnecessary, especially in this area because, um, what have I done? Because in this build, this is very pedestrian. Like, there's no cars that drive around here. 
Um, there is a roundabout here, but like all of this is completely pedestrian. You can see, look, there's like fences and stuff. This is part of how people say, oh, I want cars on The Sims 4. They don't understand the degree to which it wouldn't make sense. The whole world is pedestrian. Everything about this, no cars, all pedestrian. Um, that's like the dream in real life is this amount of pedestrian stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, there's not really a lot that would make sense for cars, I don't think. Um, anyway, playground area. I'm not really thinking playground. You guys, we're gonna have like some grassy space on the side, but I'm not thinking playground. It's a, we're, the whole reason we're doing this is because chat was like, we want a date venue. <laughs> and now everybody's telling me to make a playground. <laughs> so I'm getting some, uh, conflicting, um, opinions here. <laughs> I don't know what we want. <laughs> Anyway, parents date too. Yeah, obviously, but that's not really what I was picturing when we started building this, okay? Um, okay, sorry guys, I'm spending a long time trying to make this work because I'm very distracted. Um, maybe I shall put this like this. There we go. All of that, just so I can have a, a fire escape. <laughs> I made this very complicated, way more complicated than it needed to be. <laughs> um, oh, good. I'm really glad that you don't want a place there. There you go. We got it. <laughs> Yay, finally. Okay, so on the outside, I'm kind of thinking that it might be sort of cool. And this might require the place to be a little bit skinnier from the back. I don't know, because I might want to scoot it backwards. I'm going to put the whole place up on a foundation. Is it just me or is Kayla loving fire escapes recently? No, I'm I'm finally giving into the demands of Twitch chat. What it is, is, is they really love rooftops. Um, and I'm giving into their demands right now and providing them with the rooftops of their dreams as, as they expect to have. So, <laughs> Salad and Games and Kayla and Boba, thank you for the subs. Um, we love escaping fires. See? The people like it. Um, okay, should this be a little bit, maybe one tile smaller, maybe? I think so. That seems good to me. Hi, Shella. How are you? Good, I hope. Um, okay. Can it be a cat cafe? I wasn't really picturing cat cafe. It's, I mean, it's been a while since we built just a regular old cafe. <laughs> Everybody like really wants cat cafes. It comes up a lot. Um, it's probably one of the most requested builds of all of them. Um, and that's fun. It's really fun. However, oops, go away. Go away! Hold on. Are you still seeing my display capture? There you go. Um, it's really fun, but you know, not everything's a cat cafe. So, we'll see. Why? Did I ruin my, can I not hear my own build mode anymore? Oh my God, I can't hear my own game. Hold on everybody, I muted it when I did that. There we go. Now I can. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, I don't know if they can get up there with the wall like that. May have to put it like that so they can still use it. Today is a struggle. We are not thriving. Oh, Tilly, you have no idea. Today is like the definition of a struggle. I am having a horrible time <laughs> in real life, not because of the build. Um, okay. So there's an idea with some of the exterior. So that's kind of fun. Um, what's gonna be on the roof? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Maybe something. Can't be sure. No, I haven't saved. <laughs> we should do that too. Did I make pancakes? No, I have not. I have not. I didn't have time today. Um, so. Okay, anyway, on the outside, 
We want it to be pink, but I kind of want to have brick. I kind of quite like the idea. See, honestly, like this brick has extremely pink energy. You know what I mean? I love this as the sign. I'm worried about it being in the front of the building. But that could be fun as like the top floor or something. And then the bottom floor could be a different sort of texture. I don't know. We can see how that works. Okay. Um, half wall right here. I think that seems reasonable and fine. On the back, I think that there should be like, probably some sort of back entrance that's similar. I don't know. Okay, so thank you mods, by the way. Interesting poll that you've done here. Um, you're gonna scare the people. <laughs> you're gonna like scare everybody by accident. Oh my. Okay. Do I get creative burnout from building a lot in The Sims? You have it right now. You know, I, I wouldn't say I get so much creative burnout from building. It, it It's more like, specifically, it's not like I build a, building a lot that causes the burnout. I, I have some burnout at this exact moment that we're speaking because I feel like I'm so bad at making community lots that when I try and do this sort of thing, it really throws me and makes me feel like I suck. Like, so, so right now, my, um, my struggle is that I just don't think I'm doing a good job at this. <laughs> I really, 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 really struggle with community lots. They're so not my cup of tea. Like, community lots are extremely difficult for me, so. Um, okay. I don't know, people liked this in the front of the building, but... I feel like it's a bit, um, it's like a bit wide and flat for that purpose, you know? It's like this feels very much like a eh, flower kiosk would be perfect, no? Oh, people really want the flower kiosk. <laughs> You're not alone in asking for that. That has come up multiple times. Uh, the people have made their their flower opinions very clear. They really, really, really want the flower kiosk. The one from um, the wedding pack. Yeah, that's that's definitely 100% come up a lot. <laughs> uh, they really, really, really want it. I was saying how I wasn't sure because I didn't know, um, I didn't know like how much space was gonna be on the lot, but we can try and have something like that. We can get a few stands maybe. Um, I don't know. The windows on the bottom are from Get to Work. Um, but yeah, buying flowers would be cute for the holiday and stuff. I think pink window shutters. Well, these ones only come in purple, and the ones from the base game are not the same shade of pink. Look. Oh, yikes. Oh, maybe that's cute. Hold on. These are also smaller. Ooh. Please hold. Everyone, please hold. I just ruined it by doing that, by the way. Hold on. We can do something like this. Instead of having the half wall, we can make it be just a regular trim. See, sometimes it takes a long time to get there with a building, but once you start getting an idea, it usually comes together a bit more, so. Okay, with a plain white on the ground floor. I don't know about the ground floor just yet. We'll have to think about the, the bottom floor a bit more first, I think, because I'm not really sure what the bottom floor is going to be like at the moment. Um, it might be plain white. It might be solid pink. I don't really know. Can I ask why you're doing that? Okay. Doesn't Horse Ranch come with pink shutters? Oh, they're smaller from Horse Ranch, though. Horse Ranch does have pink shutters, but they're kind of small. Um, okay. 
Okay. Let's see. I want to find a sign that we can maybe hang off the the wall. Probably not this one, but basically something along those lines. Although, that is kind of cute. Something like that. Um. Okay. So... Something like that, maybe? Go all the way around this, just so we can see how it looks. You do it there, too. Okay. I don't know about this. Are there any stained glass windows in The Sims 4? Yeah, there's stained glass windows in this game. Um, there's a couple. There's some from, like, they're kind of, like, uh, scattered between a few packs. There's, like, stained glass windows in the wedding pack. Um, there's a couple in, like, the get-together pack has some stained glass. You know, they're kind of around in a few different areas. Um, okay, so this has kind of, like, a peachy color that I quite like. It's the wallpaper from the kit. The problem with doing that is that... Oh, maybe this is fine. The problem with the kit one is that it's, like, not... Uh, it has the trim on the bottom, so... Realm of Magic. Yeah, there's a lot of stained glass. It kind of just depends on what we're talking about, so. Will it have cafe functionally functionality? Yeah, we're building it as a cafe. We're building it on the lot where the cafe uh, originally was as well from. Then there's like paneling. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, the wedding stories one is way better. That has a little bit more texture to it. Okay. That's what I wanted. It's pink like this. Okay. Um, let me put all my columns around the place too. And once it has some landscaping and some like pretty outdoor seating, it's gonna be so good and fine. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, and it's from the wedding pack, and we're trying to use the wedding pack a little bit here, so that's good. Um, okay. Something like that, pretty cute, I don't know. I take this, I shall... Oh my god, really? If I move that, really? Okay, there can't be a fence there. Romantic woohoo dumpster. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Cowardly Frito, Ben, Ava, Bane. Thank you for the subs. That's a good call. What we really need is a woohoo dumpster, you know? Give the people what they want, and what they want is a dumpster to woohoo in. <laughs> and just don't fall off. It's fine. They'll be okay. One thing that I absolutely despise and always makes me kind of want to cry is the fact that there's not really a plain white foundation like it just doesn't exist there is no like actually white that matches all the other white swatches in the game it's it's all very um i don't know grayish we really need some more foundation in this game it's really annoying i don't understand that about it um but anyway Date location deserves a good woohoo spot. Oh yeah, we'll make sure we have a couple, I think. Okay, that's nice. The windows will be up here where the bookstore stuff is gonna go. Yeah, more foundations and more platform trims, I would say, are probably like top of my list of my biggest requests for The Sims 4. I would really, really, really appreciate that if they gave us some more things like that. <laughs> um... Okay. Good. Something like that. We'll see how that goes. There needs to be a, a bathroom set up somewhere. Um, I don't really know where to do that. I guess when I had this be wider, it was better, huh? I don't know. Woohoo closet in the upstairs storage area? You think so? Oh my. Is that too much? 
I was thinking for this about putting um, two bathrooms kind of like on either side of this here. I don't know if that's a good idea. We also need to find a spot to put, oh no, this might be a mistake. We need to find a spot for the cafe stuff to go and there's like a front and a back door. So that kind of throws it off a little bit, huh? Um, not a lot of room to walk around, huh? It's possible to fit stalls in the bathroom. I mean, we could like reorganize it and do stalls in the bathroom, yeah. Um, you could do it as like one big bathroom with stalls. I don't really care about the toilet stalls too much um, for a space like this that's kind of small, but to answer your question, yes, we could do it differently. Bathroom upstairs. I mean, a bathroom upstairs is probably the most logical choice. It would probably make, probably make the most sense. I was gonna try and do it downstairs instead because then it's more accessible, um, but it's the sim, so the world is magic and there's no such ex accessibility concerns anywhere. Um, it's not accessible anyway, because it's like on a foundation, but. Um, I don't know. I do think that having the kitchen be kind of in the middle is good. I might try and do it kind of like that. Um, door on the other side, maybe? I don't understand the question. Like this door on the other side? That doesn't matter too much to me. We can do whatever, but. Um, I kind of think, I mean, we're gonna try and put in like fancy cabinetry and stuff to make it more decorative. So the cabinets would be kind of like this. We could probably build something out like that just so it has like a place that it's anchored. And there's a lot of table out here. I don't know. A lot of space for table, I mean, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Mod and Squish and deepest thing for the subs. Um, is this limited pack? No, not really. Um, I'm not gonna use like every pack, but it's not gonna be no packs, you know? We've already used a couple, so. Does this come in pink? No, of course it doesn't. That would just be too easy. The one problem with the cafe stuff, it bothers me so much. It's not like pretty and pastel enough, you know? But it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure about the floor plan on this place. Maybe I should have had the staircase be like somewhere else. No, I don't know. Bubble tea instead? Well, the problem with that is that it then becomes not just a place that sells bubble tea, it also becomes a thrift store. And that's not really what I want. Um, so, I mean, we can use a lot of that stuff, like a lot of those decor items. Cause High School Years has some really pretty, like, cafe backing type stuff. I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, like this item has some really cute swatches. So we can use some things like this in some places. Um, but, I mean, it could even just be like that all together, I don't know. Um, yeah, if I wish that we had like just the bubble tea and not also it has to be thrifting, you know? Um, Cafe Lot Type comes with get together, so. Kind of a fun one, maybe one that you don't really think about too much though. Okay, so if we do it like this, the bathroom stalls that people are discussing are so big. <laughs> like if we wanted to have bathroom stalls, all of a sudden the place becomes like significantly bigger. Especially if you wanted to have multiple because of the way that it all fits together. Um, it's very annoying. But... I don't know if we can manage it. If I try and scoot them together, we can maybe try and fit them in a smaller set of space. But I'm not really sure how I want it to be. Um, having one stall bathroom for all genders. Well, that's what we're gonna do, Amber. But the, when you use the bathroom stalls, it's just like all of a sudden, it's not really a small bathroom anymore. <laughs> 
like as soon as you have the the, the stalls i don't want to just do one stall i don't think so um i don't know it's like this the stall takes up the amount of space that i was gonna have the whole bathroom take up but we can try it it is good for community lots um i don't know i'm just expressing my concerns you know they always look better when they take up three tiles. But then, there's no space left over. And I don't want them in the back like this, because that is a horrible, horrible thing. Then it's, we can't have windows there. I think it might have to be upstairs. I don't want it to be, but I think it might have to be upstairs. I think it might be the best thing that we can do for this particular purpose. Um, basement toilets? Oh, well that complicates things even further. The second you try and have a basement, it's like now we gotta get a basement staircase somewhere. <laughs> now we gotta fit in a basement, and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Sorry guys about my dramatics. I'm really- I'm not, uh... I'm not thriving today, let's just say that much. So, bear with me. <laughs> Riley, mad, and squish, and deepest, thank you for the subs. Um, I don't know. Can I fit my stalls in there? This place is just really small, isn't it? That's half the battle. Oh, maybe they could go like this. Aha, that might be onto something. There's no space in there if you do it like that. Can I scoot you? Barely. Center them? That's weird too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm thinking about it too much. Jessica, Kelly, Riley, thank you for the subs. I need to make the whole place bigger. It's like, if this section was one tile bigger, all of the problems would be solved. And I'm being so serious about that. Um. Okay. I can do that. That- the- the thingy can go up to the edge, yeah? And that's fine. That makes that bigger. And then I can have this be a little bit wider. And then I can have these three go like this. And all of a sudden it's better now. And I'm done overthinking it. Okay. Yay! Now there's a place for sinks and stuff. Um... Okay, and then this is the, like, library section of the cafe? I don't know. I guess this part doesn't need to be like that either, huh? I can just do a fence there? Not sure. Not sure. We don't need stalls if it takes up too much space. Yeah, I know, having a smaller bathroom is good for the cafe, but the people wanted stalls, so we're gonna try and make it work. Small stage for live music? Yeah, maybe. Um... Do you care about a stall block in the window? Oh no, this window is in the back. So I'm not that worried about it, Christine. Um, I, I thought it was okay. But you guys can correct me if you hate it. And if so, that's really bad, actually. But um, this is in the back. So I wasn't too worried about the stuff blocking in. Thought it was the front? Yeah, because it's like <laughs> the same on both sides. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's the plan tomorrow on stream? Um, we're just gonna do a little uh, little hangout session. We're gonna play the 100 baby challenge a little bit. I don't know, that sort of thing. Saw an awning and panicked. Yeah, that makes sense, Christine. You're, you're valid for that. And that was good of you to be thinking about it. Oh, that is so cute. Are you kidding? I'm not gonna use that fence, but that's a good starting point. We'll use that as the door in there. And then imagine like the bookshelves that we can put up here. Sorry about all of my, you know, panicking everybody. We're, we're figuring it out now and it's everything's fine and looks better. Um, I just had a bit of a moment there as we all know. Um, <laughs> I'm having a really, the past couple weeks, 
um, mental health wise, anxiety wise for me, not going well. Today, not going well. So I'm sorry if I seem off and if I'm letting the build get to me. Uh, but it's okay, we figured it out. It's gonna be fine. I'll center that again, please, thank you. We can totally use that on the inside too. I really like that thing. That's really pretty. We can totally use that downstairs on the inside as well somewhere. The people said something about wanting like a little stage. And I did that sort of thing the last time we built a cafe. It was like the last boba shop that we built, I think, that we had something like this. Um, but that could be kind of cute, like a little stage in the corner and then some seating in all the other areas. I don't know. Whisper, JJ Velvet, me, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, that seems fine. That seems good and fine. What do I put on these, on this wall? It's like, do we go for like community lot type windows? Do we do these little windows? They're kind of big, so. I don't know. Maybe? Oh, why another the, that's like way too pink. That's too much. Do you come in pink? No, not, not the right kind. You have like subtle vibes, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's not the best thing either. These come in pink, but I don't really like the box itself. Oh, but you know what we could do? Is that the lowest down it can go? Oh. Oh. I mean, that has like some really pretty colors to it. I just don't like the shape of the box. I wonder about one of the debug ones. Although we probably don't need to worry about using the debug ones. These ones are kind of reddish, which fits the Valentine's vibe. Right? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, sorry, I'm just thinking. <laughs> Let me move this over to this side again. Uh, that girl, it was for JJ, thank you for the subs. What kind of shop, coffee shop are you doing? Oh, a Valentine's one. You don't understand who does and doesn't get ads? Oh, no one does. Uh, the only the only guarantee are that Twitch subs don't get ads because that's the only setting I can change. Otherwise, I cannot control outside of that who gets ads and who doesn't. I have no um, ability. There's, there's no like predetermined thing to it. It's, I mean, like anybody that is not a Twitch sub <laughs> is who gets ads, but not everybody gets ads every time. So you might get lucky and not get ads this time, but not next time or, or whatever, so. You're subscribed and still got ads though? Oh, you aren't subscribed right now. So maybe your sub ended or something. Um, you don't have a sub badge next to your name. So might, your sub might've uh, expired or maybe the prime sub ran out um, and you have to resub, but you, you aren't subscribed right now. So that's why you got ads. I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of people have that happen. They're like, I'm subbed and I'm getting ads. And then we have to be like, you're not subbed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> um, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, there's no windows on this now. I don't think that looks very good, but what do you think about that? I don't know. Maybe once there's some like bushes and stuff and you know, tables and chairs or whatever, it might help make it all blend in a bit more. Um, pink, preferred the windows, but this is nice too. Oh, okay, I was trying to do something different but you always know when your prime sub runs out because you immediately get ads. That's so annoying. I wish that there it would be possible to have no ads on Twitch, but it's not feasible. You can't do that. Twitch will have you watching ads. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you will be watching ads. Okay, these are really big tables. Maybe they're too big, I don't know. But they are really cute. 
So that's kind of what I'm uh, leaning towards, but who knows? We can then put some extra ones like down over here. Does this come in other colors? Oh my gosh, it comes in pink. I guess it being in blue is not too bad because then it matches the windows, but um, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so as far as landscaping goes, I'm thinking that I'll try to put probably something over here. Maybe I'll line it with something. I might get some trees too, but I'm just thinking like, how can we split this up? Um, I might try and line this with something as well. Again, not done. It won't be those exactly. We'll do something though. We'll do something. And then this is how you get up onto the patio. And then we can maybe do like a cute fence of some sort. I think it might be kind of fun to have something going around it. I don't know. Perhaps something like that. Um, can I upload this now? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, I never upload my builds when they're only like partially finished like this. I'll upload it when it's done, but I'm not gonna post it now. Um, I don't think that's a very uh, good idea. So. Okay, do you wanna put like, I don't know, the people kept talking about um, a heart-shaped fountain. And I do think that's cute. I don't know if it's um, good for this or not. It would be kind of fun, but we need to think about a way to like, put it and then decorate around it adequately, you know? We'll see. That's so corny. Yeah, it kind of is, but like in a cute way, right? <laughs> it is kind of corny, but like in a way that is cute. Um, okay, maybe there could be like a square around it somehow. Uh, perhaps I could scoot you back just a bit. Go away. Go away. Go away. We could try and put some plants around it like this. Um, I don't know. No, maybe I'll try, okay, hold on. Um, you could use pink and blue flowers, maybe. There's a lot of ideas. I would like to have something like this, but even that's not really the best vibes. This is cute, but it's too much with the flowers. Oh, you come in pink. Hmm. I don't know. Jaden, Mars, Laura, thank you for the subs. Um, make the rectangle a heart? What, like the area around it? I'm trying to think about a way that we can get like a pathway, um, like a pathway and then some landscaping. So I, I don't really want it to be a heart around it because um, then we don't have as much space for landscaping. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh my gosh, no. You were on TikTok and a girl thought that Mount Everest was in Colorado. Oh no. Hearing people um, that have a, pe listening to people that have limited geography knowledge in that way, like in a way that is shocking is always kind of um, hard to do. It's like hard to hear that sort of thing, you know? Um, I, I can't, you almost like can't imagine it. But um, anyway, hot <laughs> mess. And Jen, thank you for the subs. Um, anyway, a heart maze out of a hedge? You think a heart maze? Oh no. 
Yeah, it's it's also like did, so in the video were were they saying it to like be kind of inflammatory? Like were they trying to get um cuz oftentimes people will say things that are like not correct on on TikTok in a video on purpose. I saw a video this week. This person was like you know how they have like pickled carrots and pickled onions? Why don't they pickle cucumbers? And it had like a million likes and all these comments from people being like, no way, you never heard of a pickle before. Oh my God, you know what a pickle is? But it was rage bait. Like she wasn't being serious. It was rage bait. She's doing it because she gets all this like interaction on the video. Like if you look at all of her other videos, when you go to her page, all of them are trolling videos. All of them are like that. But people don't do that. They like watch it, take it at face value, and then comment, and then are like, oh my god, you're so dumb! And then it gets recommended to everybody. It's rage bait. <laughs> um, so they're like farming that on purpose. Um, and people always fall for it. They always fall for it. Um, it's really common. <laughs> and they get a lot of like interaction on their videos because of it. So that's why they do it, because it keeps working. Um, but if you ever see that kind of thing, and you're like, hmm, this sounds, you sound so silly. This can't be, I just had cast off a lot of mode. This can't be true. If you go to their page, look at their page. Just see what else they post. You might notice that all their posts are like that. And it's not real. <laughs> um, it might be good for, for you to do a little experiment if you um, ever encounter something like that, you know? Um, yeah, that's why I ignore things that make me upset too. When I see things like that on TikTok, it's like, okay, scroll. <laughs> you know, like it's um it's better for everyone to not force yourself to interact with that sort of content. Everybody will be happier if they don't have to like see it and engage with it. But roll your eyes and move on. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how I am about it too. I feel like people on TikTok, there's like a culture on TikTok where people will comment on everything, everything. That's why you get these videos, but you see people like complaining about comments where it's like a recipe for, you know, potato soup. And then the comments are like, what if I don't like potatoes? Okay, stop. Just don't go away then. Like the, it's the bean soup. That's what it was. The bean soup thing. Like it's not for you. Scroll. When it's not for you, scroll. That's the that's the way. You don't have to add input into everything that you see. <laughs> Believe it or not, but you don't have to engage with every single thing. <laughs> um anyway. I don't know how to landscape this, everybody. I don't know what I'm doing. I think on the deck, I want to get, I don't know, something like that might be kind of nice. We should do like a better stone flooring. It can be something kind of, honestly, that's kind of pink, which is kind of cute, but I don't think I want it to be that. I think it should be gray so it blends in with the environment, but You think pink trees? Oh, maybe. I don't really love how this looks either. So I'm kind of struggling with that part too. Mm. I don't know what to put around the heart fountain. I'm struggling with that part as well. We're really like, I'm very unclear on what my goal is with this build today. Romantic garden stuff would work here. Oh, romantic garden stuff is really good for this kind of thing. We're gonna use a lot of that probably, but I'm I'm more so thinking big picture right now. I don't know what to put like beyond just that. It's like, what else do we need, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't really wanna have like a whole big thing like this. Some of this stuff could be kind of cute if we had things like this around. Maybe there is a stone fountain edge. Oh, you think I should try and incorporate that sort of thing? Oh, wow. That's scary. Just use regular. There are other fountain edges. I don't, I didn't realize you guys didn't like this one. There's not a lot of other fountain edges, but there's a couple. <laughs> there's like plain ones. This one's kind of interesting. I think that this one's probably the best though. The way that it is. Um, okay, so. Going off from this again. Uh oh, sorry. I don't mean to yawn everybody, I'm sorry. Um, going off from that, 
maybe we do like, no, I think that we want to have it be easily accessible. The fountain section. So I don't really want to block it all off. We want it to look like a cute place to have your Sims get engaged or something, you know? Isn't that kind of random? I can't tell. I don't think it's bad. But I don't really think it's good either. Maybe put benches. Yeah, we'll put benches. We need to put like actual um, fountain stuff too. That's the small dome. No, use the small double dome. Small double dome water emitter and then get the like jet water emitter in the middle. Just my wedding stories have better arches. Well, you don't like these arches? Are they bad? I kind of liked them. Why not romantic garden fountain? Oh, because we wanted a heart fountain. Oh no. <laughs> Renee, thanks for 11 months. Tess, Jen, thank you for the subs. Um, see, this is the thing. I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions right now, chat. I don't know what, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I pick, I, everybody's like, put a heart fountain. Now they're like, why are you using that? Put just the romantic garden fountain. <laughs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I should have built something that was more within my comfort zone on this day where I am so weak and anxious. Um, I'm, I'm letting you all down with my inability to succeed right now. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have built something I was more comfortable with. Um, okay. I think maybe, I don't know if that's good or not. I think that's a bit much for the outside. I'll probably put some trees in there. I don't know. I don't know. Let me look from cottage living Whoa, I'm pressing everything but cottage living. Okay, <laughs> I wanted to get this thing. I really like to use this in situations like this one where we're putting stuff like right up against the edge of the lot. Cause it's really nice to be able to um, have like a little trim. Cause you can't do an actual fence there, but you can do little custom bits of trim using this thing. I've been doing this a lot for community lots recently. I like how it has a little wave on it too, you know? I think that's good. Okay. And we just slowly go all the way down. Um, Jennifer and Renee, thank you for the subs. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, maybe like use that for the fountain edge instead of the tall fence. Yeah, I mean, the tall fence is weird, I know. Um, I'm trying to think like, what would be best to use instead. I was trying the tall fence specifically because it matched the archway. I'm not like keeping that there forever. I was just looking at it, but um, I did like how it kind of matched the archway with the tall fence. Okay, it's a good thing that these are clipping, huh? Doesn't that just make you so happy? And so glad, wow. Perfect game, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. I kind of wanted to have, I guess it would have to be down here though, huh? I kind of wanted to have like some more tables that spill out a little bit more. Um, okay. That seems fine. That seems fine. Really, Brew? I'm glad. That's really good that you managed to get it done. That's like actually impressive. Um, yeah, I don't really think I like that. I also think that the window situation is bad, so 
What lot is this? It's called the Heron Hedgehog. It's the lot where the Heron Hedgehog normally is. Uh, the Heron Hedgehog being the um, cafe lot type that comes with get together. It's where the default cafe is in, in um, Windenburg. So that's where we are. Um, I think, oh, hi, Zika, how are you? Um, I want to have, I want to get some fairy lights. I think that would be kind of good. I need to think about where I want to put them. I think that, oh, is that the right size to go across this? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, interesting. Okay. They can be raised up a tiny bit. If I do this, it means that um, we probably should use a different table that doesn't have the cover on it. Because I kind of want to have the lights, but maybe this part should be brick. Is doing too much brick a bad thing? I don't think I like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do all three of these right here. Sorry everybody about my inability to do this. Clearly I haven't got a single clue what I'm doing. That's kind of cozy and like romantic and cool. I don't know. Little and very thank you for the subs and fits, both of you. Um, I think it feels like a suburban town center. Really? Okay. That's nice of you to say. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really not. Today is not a good day. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, island living. Let me see if I can find a little... I always forget what they're called. You know those, the, the like see-through floor tiles from Island Living. I always forget the name of it. Crystal Clear. I need to just remember that it's called Crystal Clear because I always try to use those and then I'm like, oh, I can't remember what it's called, so I can't put it. Crystal Clear. Crystal Clear is a very easy name to remember. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I struggle with that so much. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of like classed in a weird spot too. Um, okay, I think that seems good to me. I'm still struggling with this. I want the fountain to be just out and about in kind of an open area. I also think that um, this landscaping looks bad, so. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> You forgot the word for refrigerator yesterday? Oh, it happens. It happens. We've all been there. Don't even worry about it. Um, this is one of my favorite little fences. I don't know. Maybe it would be better if instead of this going, I know I just placed all this. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not really being the most decisive today, but maybe it would be better if this was like not up completely to the edge of the lot and there was like a small set of landscaping. You know? Could make the whole side section into a mini park. Yeah, that's what people have been really like asking for this whole time today. Um, I do like that idea, but yeah, it has kind of like a sidewalk vibe. That's good. Um, there would be like a little bit of landscaping. It just seems so heavy, like, all of the walls, all the fences that we have are so, 
I need like an in-between of a couple of these white fences. You're so sleepy, but it's only five. Yeah, I get that. I would gladly go to bed right now. <laughs> I'm like ready for it to be tomorrow now. Little raw iron fences. I don't know. I kind of would prefer for it to be a bit more of like a, a wall. Um, I'm not really thinking iron for these. It's cute, but I don't know if it fits the vibe that I'm going for. Problem with half wall is that we're on a foundation. Um, so you can totally do a half wall, but if you want to have it connect up, um, it doesn't want to. And the way that you can go around that is by placing one and then moving it onto there. The problem is the game is going to nonstop try to delete that half wall. That little one I just placed, it's going to basically nonstop try to delete that. Um, and that is kind of annoying. It also gets rid of the um, trim on the corners. But it does, I mean, it's better. The half wall looks better, but with the blocks on adjacent levels much must touch. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure about that situation right now. Maybe because of the ladder? It might be partially because of the ladder. It doesn't really matter. The half wall is a bad idea for this build. Just because of how it's placed, it won't really look good or work nicely. It's not a good call. Not on this one. Um, That could be cute, though. Just a little one right there. I don't know. Okay, Mama and Madam Mzell, thank you for the subs. These patio tables are from the backyard stuff pack, by the way. I just saw somebody ask. Um, they are from backyard stuff. I don't want any windows there. I guess I'll use these in the back again. I do quite like the pink. I think that it looks good from the inside, so that's nice. It is Windenburg, yeah. That's where we are right now, is in Windenburg. Um, this part, we can't really do any windows there. I guess I'll just put landscaping in front of it, right? Probably. I don't like this fence anymore. Did anyone notice any new clothes, swatches, and outfits with the SDX drop? Ah, uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, it might just be that it seemed new to you. Sometimes, like, stuff that came out in an older previous SDX drop, uh, a lot of the chat is like, oh my god, there's a new shirt! <laughs> and then we are like, uh, actually that came out in an SDX drop, like, you know, four months ago. <laughs> so it might just be an older thing that you haven't seen yet, that you're noticing now and being like, wait a minute, is that new? Um, that happens too sometimes. There's a missing part of the roof. Oh, this? It's because I extended it. Go back inside and figure out the fence after? Oh, I don't know. I can be brave. We can figure it out. No, 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 stop. Okay. How about that one? That one's pretty. It looks kind of good. I think I like it. Maybe I'll leave this side open so you can get out perhaps okay that's something we can start there oh my goodness you know what they have it's um is it under bushes you know what i'm talking i you don't know what i'm talking about because i haven't said it yet i'm talking about this i never ever ever use this maybe this is a fun time to try and use these bushes these are from island living I don't normally pick those, but that kind of has the like Valentine's energy, perhaps. It's very pink. But that might be good. Um, okay. Yeah, the color matches really well. <laughs> the color is like a surprisingly good match, I would say. 
Um, so that works out. Yeah, I never use these either. I agree. I always think the texture is kind of weird on those. Um, but I feel like they might, they kind of look good here. So this might be a good time for us to try to use them. Because I don't, I probably won't ever use them again. Um, but I need you don't know what I'm talking about because I haven't said it yet. I know, well, <laughs> I was sat here like, you know the ones that I'm, that I'm thinking? But I realized I hadn't said anything about it yet. So I was scrolling, gonna be like, you know the ones that I'm talking about, you guys? No, you don't, because I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> but now, now, I've shown you it makes more sense. Yes? <laughs> oh no, okay. Oh, you think you're a fan of Lil Simsy? Well, can you read her mind? Name three things she's thinking right now. <laughs> okay, let me try and fix this again, too. Um, what are you eye emojiing about, Dika? That's ominous. We can't read your mind yet, eye emoji. <sighs> Guys, anybody else scared of little Dika right now? Don't worry about it. Okay. Taylor Swift, Cats, and Pulp. <laughs> the three things just on repeat in Lil Simsy's brain at all times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Um, okay. I think um, I want to put... I think we could probably use some trees. I think that this is too much with these over here. I don't know. So if we're gonna try and make this whole section into more of like a park sort of vibe, maybe we could try to, um, maybe you center the heart in it. Okay. Forgot tomorrow is Valentine's dot 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 yay dot 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 I know. Uh, listen, we have to allow ourselves to rethink what Valentine's Day means to us in our minds, okay? It we don't have to allow other people and and you know all this dating relationship stuff to ruin our vibes. Valentine's Day is a holiday of pink decor. Hearts, candy readjust, you know, pink. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what you told your coworker. Yeah, I, it's a weird one, these dating holidays. Um, we've all been there many years of it feeling weird and stuff, but, um, yeah, I don't really feel the best about all of this. I think the half walls are a bad idea. I don't know. Um, we want to get some trees, yes? Maybe like the trees from the base game that kind of match the world are these. Maybe I could put them on the side and then put them in like tree cages. So it all blends in. Or we could use, this is like a lot of flour though. I don't know. Tree jail, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Are there pink heart trees? There are pink trees. Um, they're kind of a different kind of pink, to the point where I think it might be too much. So I don't know. Tar Heel and Kat, uh, and, and Mikey, thank you for the subs. Um, I think... I want the tree cage, and I always forget where it goes. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna try and move the trees so they fit perfectly. 
I'm thinking on this section, it might be good if at the very least we had some sort of landscaping, like, oh, you know what? Let me look at the pots and stuff and debug from the rent pack. Hmm. Because then we can try, you know how they have all those huge, like, lines of planters? I wonder if we could try to use some of that somewhere. Oh, those are probably too big. Well, what would happen if I put, like, three of them? I mean, you can see the clipping, and that's kind of annoying, but... Might be okay. Hmm. I don't know. Smaller and multiple. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I want it to be. This is why I don't like to do community lots. I really, really, really struggle with community lots. Um, I shouldn't have allowed myself to be peer pressured into a community lot today on stream because I'm not. I'm not in the right headspace for this today. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm trying to build. Um, can you size them down once so they don't clip? I mean, we could size them down, yes. I, I think that it's probably better to have them, I mean, they're too, too small that way, but I think I like them quite big. So, I don't know trees in the small clipping section selection so they look purposeful. I don't know. I don't think the clipping is that obvious. I don't think it's that bad. Sometimes you gotta, with the sims especially, sometimes you just gotta let it be. Nobody wants to admit it, but sometimes when we're playing the sims and it's doing its little clipping thing, sometimes you just have to let it happen and like just accept it. You know, it's gonna do that. It is what it is. We just, oh, that doesn't look very good. Hmm. Oh, I almost bulldozed it. That would have been bad. I'm scooting it over. I'm thinking that this will be better all the way on the end of the lot. And I'm gonna let there be like a little bit of walkway for the I guess I can make this only one tile wide for the, no that doesn't fit oh my gosh okay <laughs> uh Arisalyn and Shelby and Orchid thank you for the subs oh no oh I haven't really saved much have I let's do that too your toxic building trait is you always let everything clip no I I do that sometimes too I I really feel strongly that sometimes you gotta just let it clip. Like, sometimes if it wants to clip that bad, it can clip. It's fine. You know, like, we don't need to allow ourselves to be this alarmed by it. Like, just let it be from time to time, I think. Should I make these have a column so it looks a bit better, perhaps? Okay. The people want the flower petal swatch in the fountain. This is one of those things that's been brought up a lot. I think part of what I don't love about the flower petal swatch is it's like so... It's like so uniform. You know what I mean? And I think that's always kind of bothered me about it. But... I'm sure it's fine. Oh, now this is ruined. Yeah, it's like polka dots. I don't know. The heart doesn't look central to the arch. The heart is... Do I need to move it again? It, it was centered on these... Maybe when you are looking at it from the angle, you can't really tell. It, the shadow is obviously angled, but... Looks dirty, not romantic. The, the water? I mean, we could try something sparkly instead, I don't know. Do they change in live mode? No. <laughs> in live mode, they don't really move at all, actually. 
<laughs> it's very, very unfortunate. Um, but no, they don't. The the petals are still there. In live mode. I can't. I I can't. I can't do that. I don't really know what I want it to be like. I just I'm struggling so much with the the little garden section. This is why it's like actually embarrassing. I feel ridiculous right now with the difficulty that I'm having. Um, get together. Saw someone say to add ducks as an ode to Duck Dan. The pond is actually quite small. So there's probably not really space for ducks to be floating around in there, especially with the fountain happening. Um, it might not work like that, really. Okay, maybe we do like a nice big bush kind of in the corner. Something like this, perhaps? Um, then it gives me a spot to hide in. Let me just grab a couple of these just so I can think about it. We'll do benches. I'm not thinking swings. I'm not really thinking swings. We can do benches though. Um, this comes in some pretty pink colors, which is good. Um, it looks bad. It looks like genuinely bad. Well, everyone is saying woohoo bush. Yeah, they've been saying woohoo bush all day. It's uh, probably the number one request <laughs> is for a woohoo bush. <laughs> so, um, it, it would be fun, it would be fun. I do think that it might be cute if we got, oh my gosh, you know what we could do? I never ever, first of all, we could do something like this. This wasn't really what I was talking about, but something like this as the grassy section might be kind of cute. It makes me think that the heart pond, it needs to be, I think the heart needs to be on concrete or have like a concrete trim around it. I think maybe that's part of the problem. What I was going to suggest before I distracted myself so much I think it's from the wedding pack. No, it's not from the wedding pack. I want the um, cottage living. That's what I was thinking, but it's like yellow toned, the stones. And that's bad. And the gray ones are so light. And that's probably bad too. No. No. You enjoy the nature vibes? Oh, so you don't like this? Guys, I haven't got a single clue, as we have previously discussed. I think it should be grass still. I think we're going for a park and we need to like still channel the park energy. <sighs> this is such a weird shape. I don't know what I want. <laughs> oh my God. I'm really, 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 really not doing a good job with this. Oh gosh. You like the grass with a concrete border? Yeah, I think that part of my problem is that I think that the pond or the you know, thingy. I think that this needs to have a border. I feel like that's kind of a necessity is for it to be actually on concrete somehow. And I don't know, maybe it would be cute if we had like just a ton of archways or something and we made it like open, but I, I think that the issue I'm having is that I think it looks really silly when the the fountain is just on the grass. 
I think that looks really silly too. Maybe it's cool though, I don't know. Hard to say. Tunnel of love. It kind of has that energy, yeah. I mean, imagine if you got engaged right here. It would be cute. You gotta admit. It looks weird on this lot, though. It'd be cute for pictures, wouldn't it? Like, imagine you have to, like, pose them right here. Have them stand still. Is there a green swatch for the arches? Oh, you don't like the flowers? The flowers were what, what was selling it for me. <laughs> the flowers were what I liked best. <laughs> you don't like the flowers? <laughs> Um, certified doodle anxious, thank you for the subs. Certified anxious, yeah. That's two usernames put together, but that's how I feel right now. Um, okay. I think... You tabbed out to order dinner and came back to beauty. I'm glad you think so, Christine. That's really nice of you to say. Yeah, I think the pink flowers help tie it in with the building. I don't know. It's... It's working. I think it's working. We have that over there. And then, I don't really like those on this part anymore, I don't think. It was good in theory, but I don't think it's really working. The urge to jump over the fountain to run through the arches? Oh, that would be fun. That would be fun. Okay. Um, chairs, okay. I wanna do something a little bit on the simpler side. I'm kind of thinking like something like these. I don't know. Hold on. Make them vertical with the chairs. Something like that for tables outside. Yeah, Rhea, we're not really going for natural though. We're going for Valentine's Day, which is why we have all these ridiculous flowers. It's kind of on purpose. <laughs> we're kind of doing it intentionally. <laughs> if we were gonna do green arches, we wouldn't really be doing any of the stuff that we're doing. <laughs> Um, that is cute, you gotta admit. I don't know if that works for this, though, as, like, a front door. Oh, that's kind of the right vibes. Oh, no, maybe this is better. Okay, doormat. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Let me get some tables out here, because if you're gonna come and visit, you'll want to sit outside. We do have some really pretty picnic tables, but I don't think that picnic tables are really the vibes that I'm going for. Yeah, I don't know. I might hold on to that for a sec, though. Some flower pots for roses. Yeah, we'll try and get some stuff like that in. We'll put some, like, tables and stuff. I might look at the growing together. Sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Get together. I know what I'm trying to say, and then I call it the wrong thing. These do come with pink, so... Doesn't really match this at all. So that's upsetting. Um, you just got seasons and your mint gen, not so berry sim, got struck by lightning twice. Wow. That's really unfortunate. I've had that happen to me. Sometimes you just got a sim that gets real unlucky. Yesterday, um, yesterday in my legacy challenge or not so berry stream yesterday, my sim, Moss, got abducted by aliens. I don't know how many of you have seen my Not So Berry streams, but we're going through a bit of a crisis right now because our mom just died because our dad cheated on her with an alien twice, had two kids. So we're kind of like really anti-alien and our mom died of anger when she found out about it because she was so upset. And then cut to Moss got abducted yesterday. Yikes. I mean, like, 
How much worse can it get than that? <laughs> horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, no. It was a genuine anger death, yeah, Dika. She was actually enraged um, when she died. I didn't do anything. I even pleaded and it didn't work. Oh, these are cute, the little wicker chairs. It's very, very samey with the color scheme. I don't think I like the tables. I think I need something white. Just hold on to that for a sec. It's fine if it's samey because the floor is white. Yeah, but it's like the exact same color as the, the exact same color as the walls if I use those chairs. And that's what's throwing me. Could do a couch section outside. Oh, these are cute. Those look like cutesy outdoor chairs. Because they're plastic. That's probably pretty good, actually. Okay. And then if we have, like, some candles or something on it, we can probably make it seem a bit more, I don't know, like it is fine. The tables are too dark. <laughs> I, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm getting so many conflicting answers. <laughs> the tables are too dark. The tables are, are not pink. I don't know, I don't know. Do you mean the metal? I assume you mean the metal. We have a little bit of black with the accents here. I don't think that these tables work with these anymore though, if we're gonna do that. So that's something to consider. It's like we have to pick one or the other. I'm sorry, you guys. I The reason that this is such a disaster is because I have no personal direction. Usually when we do these things, I at least have a personal direction to guide me. Today, complete lack of personal direction. I am completely useless um, and letting myself be very confused because I have no idea what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I want it to be, so I'm really struggling. Um, okay, so will this be on YouTube tomorrow? No, <laughs> no way. Um, it won't probably won't even be done tonight. So, um, No more negative self-talk or you're getting banned. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just, it's a rough day. It's a rough day. Um, no, I want like a set of plants that are big. Oh, this could be cool on the inside somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Could even just be like right there. That's fun, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't know about the tables. Oh no. Oh no. It's gotten to me as well. I think a simpler table is maybe better. Plus, it's bigger this way, the table. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. So sorry. I think this makes more sense. Okay, that seems good to me. I like it. Pink, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dika, we were starting with the blue thing. At this point, it's pink, 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 and pink. Oh my gosh. Even the lights come in pink. How is Dan feeling? He's, um, he didn't stream today. He's not doing that good. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, same. Matt, Scotty, Mr. Abby, thank you for the subs. Um, I don't know. I think he's, he feels worse than yesterday probably. Um, so he didn't stream, but. I'm not sure exactly how he's feeling. 
Um, has he had COVID before? Yeah, once, a couple years ago. Um, not, this isn't as bad as that time, so. This one's, we're, everyone's feeling a bit better. Hold on, my dad is spam texting me about how they moved chairs around. <laughs> he says, I did a switcheroo. <laughs> and now he's texting about moving chairs. What are those? They've got different chairs that I've never seen before. Very confusing. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> He's like, they got new chairs, but he moved the old chairs. I didn't even know they were gonna get new chairs. Oh, that kind of works. Could always break up with the pink with red floral decor. You think I should break up the pink? Do you think so? I don't know. Are the new chairs pink though? No, they're like gray or something. I can't really tell from the picture. The lighting's not very good in the one he sent. Okay, you guys are gonna like this, but I didn't like the color of the, that table. It wasn't working for me. So I'm trying something else. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. I think that's better. It was- the other one was an interesting vibe, but it wasn't really working for what we wanted. It didn't really match. I don't think. So. You think white chairs with the tables? Oh no, I'm really trying to embrace the pink thing. I know people don't like it. They're offering a lot of suggestions of how for it to not be pink, but... <laughs> I think it's kind of fun like this, so I'm probably gonna try and keep it. Where's the door? It's right here, in the front. Okay. I think... I'm feeling better about that. I do think that generally speaking, the landscaping on this side is not good. But I'm just gonna come back to that because I don't really know what I want it to be like. So I'm gonna work on the inside now. <laughs> um, Matt, Scotty, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, the doors also get to work. The door and windows all, they are part of like a matching set from get to work. You think spa day glow walls and floors for the pond? We haven't changed the wall and floor in the pond yet, Dika. Um, I'm not opposed to doing that. I will make it glow with spa day. Um, I think that might be kind of fun, but. Maybe. It's kind of cool. Keeping the arches in the ends, but fairy lights in the middle. You don't like the arches? I'm not really sure what I like about this. I do think I want to try and get a bench or two. Um, I don't know what kind. There is like a pink bench from Romantic Garden stuff, but... See the pond at night? Yeah. It's kind of glowy, but not too bad. The tables out here aren't too bad either. Wait, what happened to my other light? I swear I had one of these over here. I must have deleted it without thinking. Will I add petals to the water? Okay, so we've been talking about this. <laughs> we tried the petals. It was not working. The petals were not cutting it. It did not look good with the petals. There's something about the petal swatch that just it it looks really strange. Um, oh, I moved the lot. That's right. I forgot I moved the lot. That would be when that would be when it deleted the the light that we had. You're right about that. I kind of had forgotten I did that. Yeah, the petals. The, it, it was a good idea in theory. It just kind of didn't work in practice when we tried it. So. Um, okay, I'm gonna look at the inside a bit more. See what we can do about this all. I hate that. This doesn't come in pink, it's impossible. So, 
Um, yeah, I really struggle to like most of the, the swatches of the different water colors in this game. All of the water is like not good. Um, it's hard to explain, but I feel kind of strongly about a lot of it. I like the sparkly one, but otherwise, meh. Okay, I think that brick as an accent wall looks kind of cool. I might do it on this part too. And then I might get it on this behind that thingy. And then over here, this is gonna be kind of like the, like we talked about, this is gonna be a um, like stage area, sorta. Um, and then we'll just do like tables and some seating and stuff mostly. I don't know. Can you wear silver to a wedding? Um, I think so. It depends what kind it is, I guess. I mean, like how light of a color swatch are we talking? I think that's the main thing. <laughs> it's just like how, um, how lightly colored. Um, like not too light. It's hard to say. P most people are gonna tell you to ask the bride. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It depends on the vibe of the wedding too. Yeah. Yeah, a silver dress is kind of iffy, I would say. Um, if you've already bought it, that, you know, kind of changes the game a little bit. But if you haven't bought it yet, I would maybe be careful. I would, I would probably, honestly, it's, it depends how close you are with the bride, too. If you should rather asking her. Because there are some people that if they asked me, I would be like, oh, that's fine, I'll talk to you about it. But there's somebody, else, if like, I'm trying to think of an example, but it's like, if one of my friends asked me, hey, is this dress like too light for the wedding? I would be like, yeah, let's talk about it. But if like, somebody I barely know's girlfriend asked me, if it's like, you know, one of like Dan's family members' girlfriends or something, I'd probably be like, why are you asking me this? <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> it depends. It depends. Maybe try and ask like, do you know the bride's friends? Maybe ask them. So silver is a uh, iffy. Okay, that is really annoying, the texture of that, by the way. Um, when in doubt, don't wear it. That's probably good advice, to be honest. I don't think that I personally, as a person who's pl actively planning a wedding right now, I don't know if I personally care that much about this sort of thing, but I know a lot of people like really do. So it's just, it's good to be on the safe side, you know? Um, Good to confirm. Your mother-in-law wore white, it had silver swirls. Oh no, why do people do stuff like that? <laughs> Purple, Uma, Rissa, Frumpy, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Okay. Um, let me see, let me reply to this really fast. Okay. Um, 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 um. Your bridesmaids wore silver. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. I bet that was nice. Why do brides care if someone wears white? Well, I mean, it's a cultural thing, isn't it? It's like, that's, you know, the bride is the one person that wears the white dress for the wedding. Some brides might not care. Others might care a lot. Um, it's such a taboo. Like, to do that is, like, so uncool. Like, they want to stand out, it's their day, um, it's like, it's fine. <laughs> it's really easy to not wear white, so... <laughs> Your dress will never outshine hers, because hers is usually, like, quite, uh, big, bigger and fancier and stuff, but, um... Anyway. Um... I don't know. Why are we talking about this so much? <laughs> Um, I don't really have that strong of an opinion about it. It's just a cultural thing. There's literally every other color is fair game, you know, so um, 
Okay. Um. Maybe like. That's so weird. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, maybe we could try that some or something. Maybe if we had, I don't know, I'm trying to think about other sorts of, like, I think fairy lights would be cute. Other sorts of pretty pink kinds of accents and stuff. I don't know if that looks good there. Um... I don't want to wear white to my own wedding, so do I tell people which color not to wear? I'll spoil the surprise. Oh yeah, that's an interesting dilemma, isn't it? I think that, um, I don't know, some people view this as being kind of controlling, but some people try and tell the guests a color scheme to wear. That's not uncommon. I'm not gonna do that, um, but some people like tell the guests like a vibe or like a color scheme to wear dress-wise. Um, so you could ask them, like, you know, wear this sort of vibe and avoid this, <laughs> you know, avoid this color. Also, that's not that uncommon, generally speaking, because oftentimes, like, if the bridal party is all wearing a certain color, people might try to not wear that. So you could just tell them that and then they maybe think they're talking about the bridal party. You know? I'm sure there's a lot of formal advice out there from all these wedding planner people that make content online. I'm the wrong person to ask though. I have no idea. I don't really know or think about this kind of stuff much. <laughs> I don't really care about um, all this part of things, you know? Anyway. Are you gonna have bridesmaids? Just family. Um, the I, We're probably just gonna have like siblings in the wedding party, um, so I don't have, like, a bunch of bridesmaids or anything like that, um, anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I want to do something, I actually kind of like, I like this tile, but I don't like it, maybe I can make it work with the pink stuff, though, I don't know. Oh, really, Christine? That makes me feel kind of sad. It's not even that uncommon that that kind of stuff happens. It's not so much about, like, a fear of having a falling out with someone. It's more like, um, uh, there, it's, there's, al there's always, like, a fear of upsetting someone about the wedding party. Like, um, my, my family, my dad tells this story of, like, my dad, um, they had quite big wedding party because my dad has three brothers and my mom has two brothers. So they had like all of the brothers in the wedding party. All of a sudden that's five. And then my dad had like one of his best friends. And then it's like the other friends were upset that they weren't invited to be groomsmen. And it's like, now you've offended people. And it's just like, I don't know if any of my friends would do that. I hope, <laughs> but I, I feel like I've been scarred by the thought of that. Um, and also like, it's just logistically speaking a nightmare with that many people. So I don't know, sister, <laughs> what are you going to say when it's just a sister? You know, people get really weird about weddings. People like get themselves so worked up and have like really strong opinions and, and get like offended about stuff at weddings and it's just not worth <laughs> dealing with, you know? Um, I don't want it to be like a thing with the drama and all that. Um, I can see that like, I can imagine a lot of people, maybe some of you guys have had stuff like that happen with some of your weddings and I just don't wanna have to ever think about that. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like the idea of being a bridesmaid. I've never been a bridesmaid, but it seems like it's like kind of a lot of work too. With some people, they expect a lot from you for it. So I would be like fine to not be invited as that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. You had 12 in your bridal party trying to people? Yeah, well you see these, these people online that are like, oh yeah, I had 10 bridesmaids. How? But it's, it's one of those things that you can see how it adds up because it's like maybe you want to invite your two best friends from like college. Oh, but there was a group of five of you that were all friends in college and you're closer with two of them, but you know, the other three might get really upset if you don't invite them to be in it. And then all of a sudden it's like, <sighs> you know, it just becomes huge. I would never have that, but, 
Um, yeah, I think that's kind of scary. Um, you don't even have three friends, so that's easy? Yeah, I mean, I get it, I get it. Um, yeah, it kind of, it's, it's a weird thing, even, like, talking about how it becomes so dramatic. <laughs> um, you have no siblings, so it'll be friends? Yeah, that makes sense. No video on YouTube today? I posted a video on YouTube today. I posted a video about the uh, Sims update today, about two hours ago. So. Um. Yeah, and it adds up. Like, being a bridesmaid for somebody else adds up to be so expensive. It depends how much they're, like, expecting you to pay for it out of pocket yourself. But, like, you know, they want you to buy a bridesmaid dress. They want you to go to, like, a traveling bachelorette party. They want you to pay for hair and makeup at the wedding. Oh, you gotta buy jewelry for the wedding. <laughs> it's like, you gotta get your nails done. You know, it, all of a sudden it becomes, like, this whole thing. And, it, yeah, that becomes quite expensive. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna pay for all that for my sister, because she's a child. She's not a child, she's 18, but that's basically a child. So, <laughs> you pay for your own bridesmaid dress? It depends. It depends. I think sometimes they might buy it for you, but oftentimes you pay for it yourself. So, you paid for your bridesmaids, everything but their dress? Yeah, it really depends what, um, what you're like, but, and what you're able to do. Bridesmaids pay for things? Yeah, bridesmaids arguably pay for a lot of things. Um, and oftentimes with like the bachelorette party type stuff, um, they will organize it and pay for it and also pay the bride's share. Um, and, and like, and if they're going somewhere, like sometimes they want to go on like a weekend getaway, say an Airbnb. Um, I don't know. I would say no, if you're expected to pay that much. Yeah, I get that. I've never been a bridesmaid. I've just seen what people talk about online. I don't have any personal firsthand experience with this. Um, so yeah, it's definitely expensive though. Um, especially it depends what kind of, like it really depends what kind of dresses they wanna buy and like all of this stuff, you know? Um, I think, oh, well, that's, a, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Then if I was made three different times, all wildly different experiences, but all pretty expensive. That's so interesting. Yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with this. I know that um, for Dan's brother and his friend got married last year, so groomsman experience for Dan. They, um, both of them wanted to go on, like, a trip for the bachelor party. Um, his brother just went to Liverpool, so it's not like it was that far away, but they still stayed, like, together. They rented, like, a place, and they stayed together, everybody. Um, and then his other friend, they went to, um, oh my god, what's that place called? Benidorm! <laughs> Benidorm. I was trying to remember the show because there's a show called Benidorm. That's about it. They, his friend went to Benidorm <laughs> over the summer last year for his bachelor party. <laughs> See, everybody's like, oh, not Benidorm. But they went to Benidorm last year. Yeah. And sorry, it wasn't a bachelor party. It was a stag do. It was a stag do. Sorry. <laughs> for um, Benidorm is a place. It's a very much like a party vacation destination. Um, so what even is a stag do? It's a bachelor party. Just a silly name. The British are so silly. So like Vegas, maybe a little, kinda, but not really. I, I haven't been, but it has more like beach energy. And like cheap drinks and anyway, <laughs> different than Vegas. Not really like that. You think more like Atlantic City? I've not been to Atlantic City. More like Miami. Yeah, but not really like Miami though. Miami, but like sticky. It's kind of the energy that I've been led to believe it's like. Daytona. You know what it is like? It's like Daytona Beach. <laughs> it's like Daytona. <laughs> Maybe 
that's better. <laughs> Sticky. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. There, they, there's like this TV show called Benadorm that me and Dan watched. He made me watch the whole thing once. And it's just like, they buy these, like, they go on holiday. And it's like a, a cheap package holiday. And they just have like included drinks and they sit by the pool and drink all day. And um, then they go clubbing. I don't know. Different. I am not, this is, I'm not a target audience. I live in Florida. What do I know about Benadorm? <laughs> I'm the wrong person to describe this. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> It's not for me. Did they have an annual trip to Daytona? I've never been to Daytona, really. My sister had a cheer competition in Daytona once, but that was like different vibes, you know? It's not really the same as a college trip to Daytona, <laughs> you know? I don't have a lot of personal experience with that. You'll love bargain Brits in the sun. <gasps> is that a reality show? Or is it is it like a, a, a show show? Oh my God. Bargain Brits in the sun? The British, they know reality TV. That sounds like something I would like. It really does. <laughs> What's that show called? It's like, um, it's a, it's a, reality show type thing competition show except they all go on like they everybody owns like an airbnb vacation rental bed and breakfast type of thing and they all go to each other's and like rank them it's like four weddings but it's people's houses and it might be called four in a bed it is called four in a bed okay i didn't want to be like you know that show four in a bed because what if that was, wasn't right because if i say just it's called four in a bed you'd be like what <laughs> but i love that show I think that one's fun. Anyway, there's a fun show called Four in a Bed. It is British. Of course it's British. <laughs> it's always British. Okay, I'm looking for... Sorry, everybody, about my distraction. I, um... You get me talking about British reality TV and all of a sudden, you know, we're never gonna finish the build, but... <laughs> British TV is so cursed. You think it's cursed? I think British TV is perfect. They're so good at it. Like really, really good at it. It's perfectly cursed. Okay, good, we're on the same page then. It's just unmatched. We don't really have, we can't, we can't beat that around here. It's not the same when we try and make stuff like that. Um, Love Island one Susie over. No, it's not just Love Island. Even like the Great British Bake Off, like all of the all the reality TV you make is better. But Love Island especially is better than what we have. American Love Island. The energy is not the same. It's not right. It's like if we tried to make American Bake Off, it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. They can't, they, the energy isn't good enough, you know? They have to be British for it to be good. I feel strongly about that. No, we don't have like an American Bake Off. They, we, we have your Bake Off, but, well, it's not your Bake Off, Tika, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> close enough. You've never seen Love Island? That's fine. That's okay. You can keep it that way. <laughs> That's probably for the best, I would say. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, um, what else do I want to put in here? Your mom was in one episode of Italian Bake Off. What? No, no, no. New lore just dropped. I'm sorry. You never told us that. You went to Milan to shoot? She didn't pass though? Wait, 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 wait. You... You've been keeping this from us for this long? This is huge. What do you mean you did? Your why didn't you tell us? <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> That's huge news. That's really cool. That's actually really, really, really cool. I'm I'm really proud of your mom for that. That's pretty fun. Um, we are friends. I'm just forgetful. 
<laughs> Bake Off is serious business. You can't be keeping Bake Off secrets. That's not acceptable. She was so glad she didn't pass because shooting was stressful. Oh gosh, I bet. Uh, the idea of being on TV is like really scary to me. And I have some friends that have done some like TV shoots. Um, <laughs> they, those memories are not looked upon fondly. Let's just say that much. <laughs> oh, let's do a changing table. I like that. You're on my TV right now. <gasps> so you're saying I'm a TV star? I like that. What am I looking for? Sorry. Oh no, I made you all yawn now. Changing table. Um. Okay. <laughs> you think so, Corey? No, I won't get into it, but I, look. F filming TV seems to be not for us, okay? Um, okay, okay. Maybe we get some cute, like, that seems nice. Little butterflies. Anything else seem good for in here? This bathroom door is from Movie Hangout. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> there you go, Christine. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> Dave, ordering eat coffee. Sorry, thank you for the subs. Um... <laughs> Anyway, it's a good thing I never did that. <laughs> it's a real good thing I never did that. No, I wasn't a um, gaming star. I did get asked to do it, um, but I uh, got scared off and I also was too busy because it was like they filmed it in like the last year. Of, I think they filmed it in, it might've been like January, 2020 or December, 2020, I forget. Either way, it was like the very end of college for me. Um, so I was really busy and stressed and like going away for a long time would have been no good vibes. Um, maybe I'll put this over here and I'll put uh, more bookshelves on this wall instead. So yeah, it must've been in December. I probably had finals or something that week, but I can't remember. They filmed a Sims TV show. It was like a competition show called The Sims Sparked and they aired it on Buzzfeed. Um, but it was really quite something. So let's just say that I wasn't in it. <laughs> I studied history in school, Mia. I have a history degree. You didn't know about that? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> You're not missing out on anything. <laughs> don't worry, that's fine. I mean, I actually mean that. You don't need to go back and watch it or anything. It's fine. Um, who is in it? Do we know them? Uh, you would know a lot of them, yeah. Um, you would you would recognize a lot of them. Do we want curtains? I don't know. You're unaware that it played on Buzzfeed? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can look it up. It's called The Sims Sparked. Um, I never, to be honest with you, I never watched it. I couldn't bring myself to watch it. My mom watched it though. I think she liked it. Um, okay. Something like this. And then maybe we could put in like, I don't know, I've made it very pink in here, but that's fine. Maybe we could put in like some seating. Yeah, they gave us like sparked build challenges and stuff back then. Yeah, they were doing um, in The Sims 4, like some challenges in game for it around that time. Hilariously, they, um, <laughs> Listen to this. Uh, they, for those sparked challenges, it was like one of them was to, I think it was to build like a wedding venue or something. I can't remember what, or maybe I built a wedding venue. I can't remember what the challenge was for, but I built a cow plant wedding venue for like cow plants getting married. Um, and they picked winners of these, this build challenge. There was like probably dozens of them. I'm not sure exactly how many. 
and the, they gave the winners a hoodie. And then they said, <laughs> they sent us an email that was like, here, you can fill out this form to apply for a chance to be on the next season of Sparked. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's okay. They never did another season of Sparked. It was just the one season of Sparked. But I remember thinking that was so funny when I got that email. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I want some sort of... Yeah, I don't think that it did very well, the show. Um, which I guess makes sense, but... That's a shame. I know they probably paid a lot of money for it. Oh, this is good. Let's do something like that. Yeah, they put it on TBS and then they uploaded it to BuzzFeed's YouTube channel afterward. I don't know what TVS is, but they did air it on TV. I don't really know how you watched it though. This is not good. Maybe no curtains? I can't tell. Are the comments on episode one very negative? Oh no, I haven't looked at it. Are they negative like about our friends? Um, or are they like, just negative about the show? Okay, about the show. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, are they sending hate comments to my friends? No, they're not. They're trolling about the show. Okay. Yeah, everybody was very negative about the show when it was airing, so. Um. Okay, maybe? Oh, this could be good. Doesn't TBS have Arthur and Dragon Tales? Wait. That's PBS. What does TBS have? Serious question. You liked the show? That's good. I'm glad that you liked it. I on it like honest, it's a good thing that you liked it. Um it's just very stressful experience, the filming process. I was not there but I speak on behalf of my beloved close friends um, <laughs> when I say it was a very, very stressful uh, thing. Oh, they run like reruns of old sitcoms. Oh, okay. Interesting. Imagine you tune in to that channel one night thinking you're gonna watch some like friends reruns. And then it's just, like, this weird Sims show. <laughs> Here you are thinking, like, oh, I'm gonna get to watch some nice stuff. And then it's just, like, this weird thing with these, like, simmers. And you're like, what is that? You'd probably love it. Oh, yeah, I mean, we would like it. But the regular audience of that... The regular audience of the channel? I don't know. Those chairs are from the book nook kit. You were trying to watch Friends at a hotel and The Sims was on? No way! That's actually really cool. I don't watch, um, I don't really watch TV, so I don't have a much personal experience. I didn't ever watch it when it was airing on the TV. That's cool though, that you saw it like that. Have I saved recently? No. No, I have not. I should. Okay. I don't know what to put on that wall behind this. I do think I should get some hanging plants. The hearts from Outdoor Retreat. Yeah, I was looking at the hearts from Seasons, but the Outdoor Retreat ones are, they're very rustic. You know? Oh, they can't be sized up. Okay, maybe I'll put them over there. Friends is always on in hotels. They run reruns of Friends so much. That's one of those shows that really is always on, isn't it? Um, it's kind of interesting. Okay, so... Oh no, sorry chat. <laughs> I'm yawning again. So sorry, so sorry. Um, 
I'm gonna make everybody yawn with this. Okay. Um, we're not gonna use the Dine Out DLC. We're gonna use actually Get Together has a cafe lot type. Dine Out comes with restaurants, but Get Together has a cafe. So we're gonna build it as a cafe instead. What did, we just had an idea for something to go on this wall and then I forgot what it was. Oh, Movie Hangout, that's right. Movie Hangout. That comes in like some cute colors. That could be good. Little gallery wall vibe. Okay. Okay. You feel like Big Bang Theory and Frasier come on all the time? Oh, I have a lot of really fond memories of watching Frasier with my grandparents. Um, I really used to enjoy Frasier when I was younger. So... You're at, a, you're at a hotel right now, so you checked if Friends is on, and it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch- we don't have cable, so I don't really watch cable TV. I don't know what's on, you know? Um, you weren't a Frasier fan? Oh yeah, I was so young. I- I don't really remember, like, much at all about Frasier. I- I couldn't sit here and tell you, like, anything interesting about Frasier. I- I just know that I liked it when I was a kid. So, I don't even, I don't even remember the, like, what happens in that show. <laughs> I just know that I liked it back then. <laughs> oh, you know what else? This, this is embarrassing. Dan always complains about me for this. I've never seen The Simpsons. I've maybe, I've probably seen a couple episodes of The Simpsons, like, but like a couple episodes of The Simpsons. I don't, I didn't watch The Simpsons when I was younger. Like, I don't have experience watching The Simpsons. I was not a Simpsons fan. It's definitely been on before, but like, you know, maybe I've seen it, some clips here and there, you know, like, and that's my only experience with The Simpsons. You weren't allowed to watch it? Oh, I just didn't watch it. My parents didn't- I didn't have any rules about what I could watch on TV. But I didn't watch anything bad, because I was like a little angel child, but I didn't have any rules. <laughs> um, but yeah, we- I never watched The Simpsons. I still don't like The Simpsons. My experience with The Simpsons as an adult is the stupid Simpsons ride at Universal- at Universal Studios in Orlando. I hate that thing. That has got to be one of the worst rides ever, ever made. It's, I mean, it doesn't help that it's old, but it's, it makes me feel so sick when I've been on it. Absolutely disgusting, horrible. It makes me so nauseous on that ride. It's so bad. I don't recommend the Simpsons ride at Universal. If you go to Universal, don't ride that one. Don't. Skip it. Ride something else. Also, <laughs> Couple- this is a few years ago at this point. Um, probably in like 2019, I can't remember exactly when. Dan got denied Twitch Partner, uh, in line for the Simpsons ride. Cause when you apply for Twitch Partner, they deny you like loads. You're pretty much guaranteed to get denied like multiple times. And <laughs> Dan, uh, he got denied- one of the times he got denied for Twitch Partner was in the Simpsons line. <laughs> and then we had to ride the Simpsons ride. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Okay, I think, oops, scoot that back. I wanna have like an actual little stage. And he likes The Simpsons? Yeah, he does like The Simpsons, but it's okay. He got denied for Twitch Partner like loads of times. Loads of times. So I don't think he, you know, was too worried about it. <laughs> it was a multiple uh, time sort of deal. <laughs> He wasn't really expecting to actually get partner that time, I don't think. <laughs> What's a Twitch partner? Like a partner in the company Twitch? Oh god, no. <laughs> you know how I have a little check mark next to my name? Twitch partner. Um, it, you're like a YouTube partner too, is when you can monetize your YouTube channel. When you're a Twitch partner, um, you get a bunch of perks like extra emote slots, you get better sub splits. Um, they're, they're actually rolling a lot of that out to affiliates now too. Um, but basically it's, it makes you official and you get some perks as a streamer. Um, so, anyway, um, but yeah, things like the squad streaming and 
they're trying to get rid of squad streaming, I think. Um, but yeah, they, they've been rolling out a lot of the reasons that you would need Twitch Partner. They've been kind of rolling that out for everyone to have access to if they're an affiliate as well. Um, but affiliate is just another tier of, of this Twitch Partner thing that we're discussing, so. Get rid, why? Um, I think they're trying to get rid of squad streaming because they want to push their, um, they have that like guest star or whatever they call it feature that they're trying to build out. So I think they're trying to get rid of squad streaming to focus on that and have people use that. Um, I haven't used that really. <laughs> I don't have a lot of personal experience or feelings about it. Um, but I think it's kind of buggy still, but I basically, they don't want to be supporting two things that have a very similar purpose. Um, from what I understand, but I don't know for sure. I'm just trying to remember what they were talking about and what I've heard them say, but. Weird, because they're different. I think they're trying to build it out to be not so different though. Who knows? Who knows? Twitch has like released and then given up on a lot of features recently. <laughs> it's uh, this wouldn't be the first time, so. <laughs> oh well. The brick is from Dine Out. It's kind of cute, right? I kind of like it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, we should use that somewhere. I feel like I should try and make that big on a wall somewhere. Maybe I could put it over here. That seems good. Chance were so good. Oh yeah, we never had chance. Uh, we never got those unlocked in our stream before they got rid of them. I I think, um, I don't know if they ever said this, but I think it was maybe a little bit implied that they were worried about, um, I don't know, like a harassment thing with chance. But I don't think that's that possible because the streamer has to host it, right? I never had them. I never used them because I never had them, but. They were like organized by mods. It was like controlled chat spam, but I mean, I don't know. Mods can start them. I guess you can be harassed by your mods. <laughs> I joke, but it's actually like, it's not like it's impossible. Um, you might have bad mods, but I don't think that's why. I don't know what, they, what they're thinking getting rid of that. I, who knows what their intentions are with any of these things, but. Um, in that case, they need better mods. Well, I always tell this story. One of the times, so I got banned by a complete stranger in Twitch chat once. Um, and I think about this all the time because I felt so bad for her. This was a long time ago. There used to be this thing where you could type slash me. It does not work anymore. Don't bother. But you could type slash me and then whatever you put after that, it would make the whole message be like, my name is pink on Twitch chat. So if I type slash me, it would make the whole message pink. So people would do this really commonly where they would like uh, basically put a fake donation in in the chat and, and they would type slash me donated $5,000 and then it would show up and it would say in chat, Lil Simsy donated $5,000 and it would be all pink, like all one color. And it looks very different from a regular chat message. Um, and I mean like kind of looks real if you're not familiar with what it is, you know? Um, and so people, like the uh, streamers maybe, that it was like their first time streaming, they didn't know how it worked or whatever it may be, they would see that and then be like, oh my God, you donated $5,000 <laughs> and get like really excited and like start thanking people. Obviously there is no donation. Um, well, this one time I was watching this streamer, uh, she was doing like an IRL stream. She was literally just sitting there and she was watching on her laptop TV shows and like streaming from her phone. <laughs> and so this is back when I was in college and me and Dan used to watch like so many random IRL streams. It was so fun. And uh, we're watching this person. She's doing this stream and it was like her first time streaming. So she started modding a bunch of people that would come into chat and that were donating to her. And so she was thinking like, oh my God, they keep donating to me. I'm, I, they've given me like a thousand dollars. The whole thing was fake, obviously, but she didn't know that. Um, and so I tried to tell her, I tried to be like, no, what they're doing is just typing slash me. Like they're faking, like, but those people that were doing it, the trolls were modded. So they banned me. Um, 
so I hope she's okay now. <laughs> but she modded all the people that were trolling her because she didn't know. Because she thought they were being nice to her and donating to her. So, anyway, all that to say, mods can be trolls. <laughs> it's not impossible, unfortunately. Uh, but that is really quite sad, so. Isn't that mean? I don't know why people troll so much on the internet like that. It's just, you're like being so rude to these people that haven't done anything. And you know my mods are trolls, obviously. Good, a good, a uh, general good rule of thumb piece of advice is to really only mod people that you trust. That you like really trust um, if you're ever going to be a streamer. Um, and you don't have to mod people. There are a lot of people that like to donate a lot of money to streamers. It's weird, it's hard to explain, but you might encounter like a person who gives you like a significant amount of bits or like gives a significant amount of subs um, and they like to do that. It's like fun for them. And that's great. It's really helpful for you as a streamer, but you don't have to feel pressured into like modding that person or like doing any of those things just because they're giving you money. Also, sometimes those people are also creepy at the same time. And it's very conflicting and confusing for you as a streamer because you're like, this person is being so nice to me, but also now they're being creepy to me. Ah, and it's hard to navigate. Um, you don't have to mod them. You don't have to do that. <laughs> I know it's hard and it's awkward, but you don't have to mod them. Just because they're paying doesn't mean you have to mod them. Don't feel pressured into that sort of thing. So, um, anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, they mean well, and it's it's a weird situation to navigate because um, most of the time it's very like fine and normal, but also sometimes those people, uh, it's hard to explain, but like sometimes you'll see that in other streams where like that person will get kind of like possessive. Uh, <laughs> and it's hard to, um, hard for the streamer, I think, to navigate some of that. So, um, but anyway, I'm sure you might have seen stuff like that before, but so it's a strange one. Um, okay, I don't really like this. Maybe I'll size them down. Maybe that's better. I like the little cupcakes. Okay, swap. That's good. I'll probably put a hanging plant over here too. Um, new ick unlocked your dog eating a carrot. What did the dog do when it was eating the carrot? My dog's kind of giving me the ick. My dog, she, um, <laughs> I remember, well, I was thinking about one of my parents' dogs right now, Bimini, when I said that, but actually when I was younger, uh, our dog who I had when we were a kid, when I was a kid who passed away like a long time ago, actually yesterday was his death anniversary. Shout out to Snook. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been like 12 years or something. It's fine. Uh, but he used to always beg when I was eating carrots, he would always beg for the carrot. And then I'd be like, I know you don't want this, but I give it to him. And then he would take it and then spit it out. And the act of a dog spitting out food is so funny looking. Like the way that their like little tongue is like, <laughs> when they spit it out, is so weird. <laughs> but he used to always ask for a carrot and then take it and then spit it out. He didn't want it. <laughs> Such a weird, weird, weird dog. You're still the same thing? Yeah, same. Isn't that so funny? Aren't they so strange? I like that yours does the same thing. It's like he didn't know if he wanted it or not. So he's like sat there asking and then he realizes, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I did not want that actually. <laughs> huge mistake. <laughs> huge, huge, huge mistake. Um. Okay. Um, yeah, they just want it because you're eating it, right? <laughs> you're supposed to with cucumbers, really? <laughs> That's so funny. I think dogs are so funny. I love that. Um, okay. Your sons are the same way, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, it's just the, it's really funny the thought of them like actually spitting it out though. Okay, um, your dog does that with anything green? <laughs> they spit out green food? Your dog is currently begging for your burrito? Really? That's funny. 
the kittens, they had a phase when we first, so I found my kittens, I've got three cats, two of which I found in a sewer a few months ago. And when we first, cause I had them and their mom, um, I, I had them all like kind of locked in a room when they were very small. Cause they were like this big when we found them, you know, like they had to be with mom. I kept them close together and closed in the room and stuff. Um, well, after that, after they got bigger and my parents adopted the mom and we like separated them and, you know, they were adjusting to life in my actual house and not just in the one room, they had a phase where they were really, really interested in, um, in food, human food. Like I'd be sitting there eating and they were like, I want to smell this. <laughs> I want to be involved in this. And it made me really nervous. I was like, I don't know if I can handle cats that care this much about people food, but they've gotten over it now. That was like a short-lived sort of thing. Um, it was brief and, and we're kind of through that now. <laughs> but at the time I was like, this is gonna be bad. Like if the cats are this interested in human food all the time, I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. <laughs> but they were just curious, they were just learning. They just wanted to know what it was like is all. Um, but I definitely was kind of scared of that at the time. I was like, this cannot be good. <laughs> if they're always gonna do this. Uh oh. Yes, bread! It's, I don't know what it is. Snap used to do that. She used to try and lick bread. Snap, she's never been one for people food, but if there's like ice cream out, like if you like, you know, finish your ice cream bowl and set it down on the counter or, or you know, put it on the table because you were just sitting there talking after you ate it, Snap would try and get in there and lick the rest of the ice cream. So you gotta be careful. And bread, if there's bread and unattended, she might try and lick it. But she's not really, of, like obsessed, it's only occasionally, but it was ice cream and bread. And I understand that. If there were two things I was gonna like get really excited about. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she's got taste, so it's not a bad choice. It's not a bad choice. I get where she's coming from. <laughs> okay, um, well that's cute and pink, I like that. Oh, really? Robust? I like that. That's so cute. Um, those are good foods. I approve Snappy. Yeah, she's got the right idea. I respect her choices. Um, none of this looks good. Maybe... Oh, maybe I could do these on this wall. Oh no, on this wall. Your cat's obsessions are shrimp and sour cream. Shrimp? Yes, no, okay, Snap also did sit on my bread. This was last Christmas, so not this year, but last year at Christmas time. Um, I had like the bread that I was making for for dinner out, like I, I was making rolls. And so I had them all on a tray um, and I had them like covered with a towel because they were rising, just like sat with a dish towel on them on the table rising. I look over, cause I'm, you know, busy, we're cooking and stuff. I look over to the kitchen table, Snap, is sitting on the like metal tray, the baking sheet on top of the towel, on top of the bread. And it was fine. Cause like the bread was underneath the towel. So it was okay, but it was, you know, deflated. Cause she went and like stepped all over it and then laid down. <laughs> but <laughs> Here I am trying to let this do its like final rise before I put it in the oven and the cat sat on it. <laughs> the bread is the most important part. <sighs> yeah, she was helping. I wish that I got a picture. I was really quick to be like, oh my god, snap! And like pick her up off of it. But then afterward I was like, oh, I should have taken a picture of that. Like I should have, <laughs> you know, paused for a minute and taken a photo. They turned out fine. They turned out fine in the end. It wasn't a bad thing. I mean, it wasn't great, but <laughs> yeah, we still ate it. Again, it was underneath the towel, so it wasn't like it had cat feet on it. She only taught, she stepped on top of the towel. It's more just that it got squished, but squished bread is still bread. So it's no big deal. <laughs> it's no big deal, it's fine. Um, okay, I wanna get a thermostat, please. I think I like it up there. Yeah, and you're not like selling it or anything, right? Like we, I made this with my family for my family. So it's not like the biggest deal <laughs> if the cat squished it a little bit, you know? <laughs> like it was for us the whole time, so. Um. Okay. 
you've eaten food that's been touched with cat feet before. Yeah, I'm not too picky about cat stuff like that, to be honest. I don't know. My cats, like, they kind of run the world. So, I know people get really- it's kind of gross. I wouldn't do it on purpose, but I'm not gonna allow myself to stress out because the cat stepped on something or, you know, who knows where they've been. You don't know where they've been. They've been doing all kinds of chaotic things, so... Just let it be, you know? She's, uh... <laughs> like, the cat's on my pillow at nighttime and stuff. Like, we can't control that. I can't be worrying about that, you know? Like, it's too late. We we can't be panicking because the cat stepped on the kitchen counter. I wipe the counter, it's fine. But like, the cat sleeps on my pillow. Like my face, cat feet, you know? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Uh, this brick wall is from Dine Out, by the way, if you're looking for it. I wanna see if I can find some cute decals. Um, yeah, right? Like, I, I, the cats are everywhere. So at this point, I've, I've given up. I'm, we've already been exposed to the cat stuff. Like, it's fine. We don't need to let ourselves worry about it too much. At least in my opinion. Maybe I'll put that there too, because it is also meant to be kind of a library vibe. It's a cafe and a library. Yeah. Um... 75% of the air you breathe is just cat hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. I relate to that a lot, unfortunately. <laughs> um, okay. Is this a new pack? Oh no! Uh, cafes came out with, um, get together. So like, ages ago. <laughs> Ages and ages and ages ago, actually, believe it or not. Um, okay, I need something to put on this wall. I'm thinking maybe a bookshelf, 2015. Yeah. A long, long, long time ago. Your cat likes to lay on your fresh laundry. Classic, classic. Shrimp really, really, really likes to be on the bathroom counter. Like, a hundred percent, I said this before, but I'll say it again. A hundred percent, without a doubt, if you are going into the bathroom, he is gonna go sit on the counter. And it's because he knows that I have a drawer where I keep my scrunchies. And if I'm going in there, he's like, oh, ho, ho, this might be the time. So he goes in there and he waits to try and steal a scrunchie. He's like waiting in hopes that I'll open the drawer and he can steal a scrunchie. So if you are going into the bathroom, he's coming with you. Not to like hang out with you, not to watch you, not to keep you safe. No, scrunchy. He wants you to open the scrunchy door. <laughs> and he will try and take it. <laughs> um, okay, so I want to get the greenhouse kit plant just for another plant somewhere. Anyway. Your cat tries to sit on your lap while you're peeing. Oh my god. <laughs> that happens to me when I get off stream especially because the cats are like, finally, you're back. Like, where have you been? <laughs> so I'll go downstairs and like go to the bathroom as soon as I get off stream, you know? And there's multiple arms underneath the door. And then you have to open it. But it's like, there are sometimes will be all three cats trying to get into the bathroom. Because <laughs> I come downstairs. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Just these paws sticking, you know, and then you have to open it and then like you let them in but they're like wait I want out and then they don't pick they just want to make sure you're in there Yeah, they want to come in and then as soon as they're in they want to go back out. So classic All cats I think are like this <laughs> You can't escape it. They're all the same deep down Your cats hate closed doors. Yeah, that's part of it. I think it's just that they don't want the they don't like that a door is closed They like if there's gonna be a door, they wanna be around it. They don't they don't want the doors to be closed for any way any reason at all. And I guess that makes sense, you know? But your cats share one collective brain cell. Oh, we always joke about that about Sunny and Shrimp, that they literally like same brain. 
they're like a little, it's so weird. How do you teach a cat to use a litter box? Dika, they just kind of do it. You show them the litter box and they'll use it. They, cats instinctively want to use a litter box. Like a litter box is the exact vibes of what the cat wants to go to the bathroom in. They want to be able to bury it. It's like instinctive. Um, it's very simple. Like even the kittens, I found kittens in a sewer and I took Frankie, their mom, from outside, okay? I showed Frankie the litter box. She's fine, she used it. The cats, they watched mom. Fine, they had no problems. Like the, the, they waited, they didn't go to the bathroom the first like 24 hours, um, probably because of the stress and the change and all this, they had like new food and stuff. But the next day when they finally went to the bathroom, fine. They also obsessively played in the litter box. Like they were playing the litter box and there were so many cats, you like can't scoop it fast enough because we had the three kittens and the mom. You can't scoop fast enough. They would get the poop out and they would play with it. Like, even if you're trying to be, like, scooping multiple times a day, all day, whenever they go to the bathroom, it's just there's four of them, you know? Like, you can't keep up. They would take the poop out, and they would knock it around like a soccer ball. <laughs> and I would try so hard, you guys. So hard to keep up with it, and you just can't. They outnumber you, and they're so small, and they just, you couldn't do it. <laughs> but they'd be knocking it around like a soccer ball. It's kind of disgusting. Um, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. They don't do it anymore. It was only when they were really small that they were doing that. So, they are sewer kittens. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That was only when they were upstairs, like, in the room with the door closed. Um, so Snap wasn't around them then when they were doing that. Thankfully for her, she didn't have to experience that, really. Um, I'm trying to decide how much other clutter to put in here. I'm kind of unsure. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll put like a little row of bookshelves. Oh, this could be cool. Maybe I could try and put a cushion on top of that. Right? Your dog eat the cat scoop if they can. Oh yeah, my parents' dogs are like that. You have to be really on top of the scooping. Otherwise the dogs will try and get into it. They always have been like that. Bad, 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 bad. The dogs would try and eat their own poop if they could, though. They're disgusting. Maybe not. Counter seating? Oh, like up against this? Oh, I guess that might not be too bad. Hmm. I like the idea of the magazine stand, too. That's why you never want dogs. Oh, they're disgusting. In a cute way though, you know? <laughs> they're disgusting, but it's cute. Don't worry. <laughs> Little Kale, a romantic thank you for the subs, both of you. Um, you just got a snack. Oh, we'll stop. I won't talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You love dogs, but it's not the vibe. Oh, I love dogs too. I really love dogs. My whole life, um, I've, I don't have a dog like personally as an adult, but my family still has three dogs. So I count them as my dogs. So I grew up with those dogs in particular, but um, I've always been a dog fan. I don't need a dog right now though. I have a household full of cats. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I love dogs. Update on Captain, one of my parents' dogs, he had to get uh, his cancerous toe amputated last week, or it was last week, yeah. He had to get his cancerous toe amputated. All was doing great and fine until, despite him having the cone on his head, he managed to pull a stitch out of his back leg. Answer me this. The, it's on his back left foot. How did you get to that? How? Anyway, so we pulled a stitch out of his toe. Um, they're taking the rest of the stitches out on Wednesday. So tomorrow, they're taking his stitches out. Um, but he has to be a cone dog still, because he can't be trusted. Um, but anyway, <laughs> they always find a way. They always find a way. But it's, it's healing still, and they're looking at it again tomorrow. So 
Um, no, it was him. It wasn't one of the other dogs. My parents saw him and tried to stop him. They, they know it was him. Um, but he's got his little cone of shame still. Um, but at least his uh, cancerous foot is gone. <laughs> Not the whole foot, just his toe. It was one toe. But... Yeah, he's walking fine. He's not, it doesn't seem like he's in pain or anything. Um, he's fine. He's been okay, even like the same day, he was like walking around and stuff still. Um, so, that's a relief. <laughs> uh, but he's, he seems to be healing quite nicely. So. The whole thing was quite scary. They didn't know if they were gonna have to amputate like like his leg or his foot. Like they didn't know how much, but they were hoping it was just his toe. It was one of those like, once we get in there and once we do some more tests, we'll find out. Thankfully it was just his toe and not his whole leg, but. Um, what a strange place to get cancer, you know? <laughs> get taken out by your toe. Yikes. <laughs> get it together, Cappy, honestly. Okay, should I put, do you guys think I should do like multiple um, computers over here? Or is this fine with just the laptop? I don't know. No, it is a more preferable place because you can adapt a lot easier uh, to the loss of a toe than to like anything else. It's just kind of, it seems kind of silly, doesn't it? <laughs> Like, the thought of it is just so... <laughs> I think just the one computer is nice, too. I agree. Maybe, like, one sim has come and set up shop over here. Um, he'll put it in the middle. Okay. Honestly? This is coming together a little bit better than I thought it was going to. I don't really know how much else we need to... Add. You're in vet school, you learned about toe cancer today. No way. <gasps> oh my God, earlier today, I saw a TikTok. I couldn't believe this. It was a, a spay and neuter clinic. Okay, so that's why it was like this. But they were doing basically an assembly line of neuters on cats. I have never seen anything like this. They had them all, like, they were already all, like, under anesthesia, knocked out laying on their backs up. They're shaving like down there. Cause it only takes like two minutes to neuter a cat. They're very quick, but they had like six cats like on assembly line doing it. I have never in my life seen a thing like that. I did not know about that. But it was, again, it was like a, a rescue. Um, so they're, you know, trying to do a lot of them quickly, but um, <laughs> it was so weird. Never have I seen that before. Um, but anyway, I was intrigued. Kind of scared me a little bit. They all looked weird too, but, um, but yeah, I'm sure it was like a TNR thing sort of situation. Um, TNR is trap neuter release, which is where you catch like a feral cat, neuter it, and then put it back out because it can't be adopted. Um, but yeah, I just, I was really surprised by it. <laughs> I've never really thought about like what the process would look like and how they'd have them laying upside down like that. And like, I don't know, I just, didn't really ever think about it. It's amazing how fast they can do that. Um, I don't know, I find it very impressive. Um, but yeah, it makes sense for a rescue. Like they're trying to do as many as possible as quickly and cheaply as possible because you're a rescue, you know? You only have so many limited, um, so many limited resources, so anyway. Lots of practice, I guess. Yeah, well, they do it so fast, it's amazing. Um, is this a lover-themed cafe? Oh, we could call it that. I was going for Valentine's Day-themed cafe, but lover-themed cafe is cuter. <laughs> Lover theme is better, I like that. <laughs> you know what we don't have is a menu. Oh, I don't know why I didn't really think about that. This is the thrifty one, which is more like not really cafe vibes, but we can still use it because it's cuter. And then I want to get maybe some of the like seasons Valentine's Day decorations. I don't know. They have a couple really cute things. I mean, these are very much red though and not so much pink. Those are cute, I guess. 
No. Oh, I don't know what's good. Do you think that's weird? They're not very pastel. And that's like too... I don't know. Can I get the decor box? Well, the decor box won't work on the inside. So... I did like these. I just wish that they were pink. You know what we could do instead? What if I use more of these? Because this has, in my opinion, really good vibes. The little flowers. I think we can try those. The red is nice, it brings some depth. Oh, I don't really want depth. <laughs> I just want pink. Christina's bullying you in Mod Hangout? Oh no. Why? That's mean. Should we get rid of her? <laughs> no. no, 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 no. I promise I won't do that. Um, I don't know how much else to add. Again, worried about overdoing it, I think. All you said was that his phone settings read like the Olive Garden menu? What, because they're in Italian? Christine! <laughs> That's so mean! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Dika, that you've been subject to this sort of uh, bullying from the Twitch mods. We won't stand for it. Wow. And Olive Garden too? You know how offended he gets when people talk about Olive Garden. Ouch. Says the person who has literally built Olive Garden in The Sims. Yeah, but that's different. That was only partially to make fun of Dika. It wasn't 100% because of him. Yeah, yeah, the problem with Olive Garden uh, is that it's too authentic. So it's hard for Dika as an Italian to not have access to such a authentic restaurant um, because, you know, they don't have as good of Italian food in Italy as we do here at Olive Garden. Um, so it's just really hard for them to think about it because they feel quite jealous. Um, I will unmod and block. <laughs> Why? What's the problem? I'm just speaking honestly, so. Kiki, Becky, Marissa, thanks for the subs. <laughs> okay, we need to get maybe like some benches or something. I don't know, we could use a little bit more stuff out here. I feel. Um, Italy doesn't have bottomless breadsticks, Olive Garden does. Exactly. Exactly. Where else are you gonna go that will just keep bringing you breadsticks for free? Non-stop, all breadsticks, all the time. When we say bottomless breadsticks, we literally mean when you go there, they give you free breadsticks, and then you finish them, they'll bring you more. Then they'll bring you more. Then they'll bring you more if you want them. Obviously most people don't have that many, but like, they bring you as many breadsticks as you want. Yeah. <laughs> that's one thing I'll say this one thing that Europe is like seriously lacking is free bread I don't know how you guys live like this I mean that honestly it's it's so sad it's so sad oh you have to buy food you can't just go there and like get breadsticks and not order food so it comes with your meal but um anyway you guys don't have enough free bread it's really actually, I feel bad for you when I think about it. So. <laughs> yeah, they don't even want to give you free water. They're so dramatic. They'll try and charge you for a bottle of water instead of just giving you tap water. Terrible. <laughs> At least we have free healthcare! <gasps> 
Now that's a low blow. <laughs> now that was uncalled for. <laughs> well, you might get healthcare, but I get breadsticks. So who wins? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Okay, okay, okay. What else do we need to add to this place? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what else to put. I feel like the the side over here, I'm not really liking it. It's hard to explain. I don't know. I'm struggling. Yeah, I was- you, you got me there about the breadsticks though and the free healthcare. You win. You win that one. Fine. <laughs> Could put benches in the green areas. Yeah, so I thought about that. The problem is we want to have this view for engagement photos. So I'm worried about putting benches in there and like blocking the view and interrupting it. Everyone, 72% of chat prefers Olive Garden over Italy. There's been a poll, the results are in. Um, all I'm saying is 72% <laughs> of chat says Oh, we don't have a woohoo spot yet. That's right. I need to get the woohoo spot. I was gonna get, um... Maybe we're just acting out because we're offended about the healthcare problem. It was just breadsticks, I promise. No, it's everything. It's everything. What percentage of chai has been to Italy? <laughs> you don't need to go to Italy to know that breadsticks are better at Olive Garden. You can tell the chat is mostly American. Okay, should we do a new poll? Hold on. It might be, especially because it's getting later in Europe. Um, where are you? American, not American. Hold on. Where are you is not the right question. <laughs> but it is getting kind of late in Europe, so there might be majority Americans here. I'm not sure. Um, it may end up being close. We'll see. 54% American. But that is not the same percentage as the breadstick poll. So, I'm just saying. What was I gonna get? A woohoo bush? I don't know. This is hilarious. Is the question read aloud? Yeah, it's not written correctly. <laughs> I didn't change it after I changed the way I was gonna word the answers, but it's fine. You get the vibes. You can tell what we're going for. Okay, this woohoo bush, totally the wrong vibes. So, so, so the wrong vibes. Um, maybe like, oh, you know what we do? How about this? Let me put this thing over here. Cause that way it's blocked from the front of the lot. So if you're watching or if you're coming from the front of the lot, you won't see that part, but you can use it if you're back there. Yeah. Anyway, final answer is 54% chat, chat is American, 46% is not American. So if you were ever curious, <laughs> that's just right now though. Um, not so much all the time, kind of depends. Um, the way Kayla said the world is only US and Europe. Oh, I don't, I didn't mean it like that. I meant we were talking about like Italy and breadsticks. So that's why we were talking about Europe, but there's a lot more places than just the US and Europe. And people are from a lot of those places clearly because they're talking about it right now. <laughs> um, but also a, a large majority of my audience is in Europe. Um, that's just a fact. So, and a lot of those people are going to bed. Um, Anyway, you can buy wedding flowers over here if you want to, which is kind of fun. Um, do the poll again in the morning. Yeah, we're gonna do a stream in the morning tomorrow. We can do a poll like that tomorrow too. You don't really have uh, as much accurate demographic data on Twitch as you do on YouTube. 
Um, I can look at my YouTube demographics right now and tell you. Let me pull it up so I can give you specifics. Not that it's the same on Twitch, um, but it's probably similar. I don't know what it is exactly on Twitch, though. Um, okay, hold on. I'm going to look for you. YouTube Studio. I just switched channels. I was on more Simsy, so. <laughs> Analytics. Uh, audience. Okay, so in the last 28 days, um, 81.9% female. We have 46.2% uh, 18 to 24 and 35.4% 25 to 34. 45.1% United States. Um, so a little bit higher on Twitch right now than it is on YouTube. 10.6% uh, UK, 5.2% Canada, 4.1% Germany, and 3.3% Australia. The rest of the percentages are quite small. As it goes down, it gets smaller and smaller. Um, Poland, 2.4%. Netherlands 2.2%, Brazil 2.2%, Sweden 2.1%. So as you might expect, English speaking countries high at the top um, and the US, cause I'm in the US. So <laughs> um, that's uh, the, the breakdown of country viewership for my YouTube channel, which I assume translate probably quite closely to Twitch, but Twitch depends on what time of day it is and like all this stuff. Um, it's just different, you know? Um, Interestingly also, no subtitles in CC, 79.7%. English subtitles, 20.2%. 20% of the YouTube viewership uses the English subtitles that Hope writes. Um, that's a lot, I think. Like having closed captions, it, it really makes sense now when like, I, I mean, I pay Hope to do the closed captions every day on my YouTube videos and 20% of the audi audience uses them. Um, which you might not realize, that's a very high, high, high percentage. <laughs> um, but subtitles are really helpful to have. That's a big, big chunk of the audience that uses them, so. Um, anyway, thought there would be more. Really? I thought it would be less, I think. I think 20% is, is higher than what I would, would expect um, for, the, uh, for the stuff there, but, you know. You use them? Yeah, I mean, there's so many reasons. Uh, people that maybe are hard of hearing, people that are learning English, people that are watching with kids in the room, they want to have the volume down so they don't wake the kid up from napping. You know, like, uh, there's so many reasons to, to want them. Maybe you have a hard time focusing, um, audio processing issues, all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of reasons to use, to use subtitles and captions. So, um, watching in public and no headphones, you know, <laughs> like all kinds of reasons to use them. So, anyway. It's cool. Um, so I appreciate Hope's help with that. Uh, okay, anything else you wanna add to the outside of this building? I actually really like the shape of it. I think it turned out kind of cute. I don't know if we need to have anything on the roof. Just used to use subs for everything. That makes total sense. That makes total sense. Um, it's really helpful for so many people for so many reasons. I wish that more creators, I mean, there are auto captions on YouTube, um, but I wish that more creators had like real captions. I've kind of had this conversation before <laughs> on YouTube, um, but I know for a fact, a lot of the people that upload like once a month, come on, come on. You could be, come on. Especially because a lot of them, a lot of the, like a lot of these YouTubers have only sponsored content. And when you make a sponsored video, you finish it like way far in advance and send it to the sponsor to review, and then you post it. So it's not like you don't have time to do captions. Um, it, you can afford to pay someone to do captions a lot of the time. Not everybody can, but a lot of people can. These big YouTubers definitely can. I just wish that um, more creators had that. The auto captions don't really cut it, so. Um, Anyway, I'm sorry to bring up Miranda Sings because Colleen Ballinger kind of sucks, everybody knows that. But I remember this one time I watched a video um, of her talking about closed captions on her YouTube video. And she was like crying because she felt bad that her brother is deaf and she didn't have captions because she thought the auto ones were good enough. And then she was like, I can't believe they're not. And she was like crying and then she promised to add captions to all of her videos in the future after that. And then she didn't. <laughs> She made this crying video promising to, and then she didn't. <laughs> anyway, I always think about that. I always think about that. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. 
just unbelievable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wish that more YouTubers did that, especially ones that like are aware and and like claim to be aware and care. But anyway. <laughs> Whatever. I have captions on Twitch because I have a plugin installed for my OBS. There's a few ways to have captions on Twitch. Um, there's like some Twitch extensions that work through the browser. Um, and I have an OBS plugin. So it's captioning me as I'm speaking um, and then sending it to Twitch to use Twitch's captions. The only reason that it doesn't work for most people is because you aren't sending the captions to Twitch. Um, I wonder if I can show you a couple examples of this. Um, I can show you mine and then I can show you somebody else's. But my CC, uh, you press the little CC button and this is like Twitch's built-in CC only because I have my OBS captioning me as I talk. Um, you can see it down here. It's, did that say Bill Clinton? I didn't say Bill Clinton. Did it think I said Bill Clinton? Wow, sorry. I only caught a glimpse of that for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Anyway, so as I was gonna say, the captions aren't always that good. Um, sometimes the captions are a little bit off, uh, but it does the best that it can. Um, it with you know, and I think for captions that are trying to do it live, automated, um, it it's pretty decent um, for what it has to work with. <laughs> wow, I didn't say Bill Clinton though. Um, another example of CC. Um, I'm sorry to pull this one up, uh, Emrys, while you're talking. Um, but another example of CC. Some people have. Uh, some people have like the um, like browser extension CC. Um, I don't even know how this one works. There you go. Um, stop. Get away. Turn the. How do I turn the settings off? Oh, there you go. Um, but you can use like a browser extension of CC too. Um, I find this one to be a little bit less effective than the closed captions that I have in my plugin, but everybody has different preferences. So that's kind of another example of ways that people do it. Um, there's a lot of them. You can also have. Uh, some of people have like captions that they embed onto the stream. Um, it kind of just depends. So yeah, I don't know what Emerson is talking about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they're building a boat. That's cool though. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. Should we put it on the gallery? Should we just commit to it and put it on the gallery? Maybe I'll call it the heart cafe. It's like, three bathrooms. Um, I built a Valentine's themed cafe in Windenburg to replace the hare and hedgehog lot. Hashtag Lil Simsy. Oh, lover cafe is better. Okay. That's good. Shall I upload it? I uploaded it. They're talking about going overboard? Really? <laughs> oh my, I wasn't really reading it. Um, but if you ever need if you ever need help with captions, I, I mean this like from the bottom of my heart, I'm being so honest right now. If you are a streamer and you need help with captions, um, or if you are a viewer and you want to ask someone else to add captions and you don't know how or how to like suggest it, if you make a ticket in my Discord server, I will help you. Um, I will try and help you because I wish that more people had access to this on Twitch. It's not very common. Um, so just let me know. There's In my Discord server, there's a thing that says contact mods. You can fill out a little thingy and then send it to us. It makes a channel that just you can access. Um, if you ever need help, um, the Discord is a good place to reach out to us. Um, the mods and I can help you get a, get a handle on that. So, And I mean that when I say it. I'm, I'm down to help you with that. So, Especially if you are a streamer. But also if you just like watch streams and you want to ask someone to add captions and don't know how to go about it, I can help you like know what to say to them, you know, because you could always, it's easier to tell a streamer like, hey, can you add captions? If you're like, hey, can you add these captions? <laughs> you know, if you give them the tools, it's easier to convince them to add it if they have the tools, just hand it to them, you know? So I can help you. <laughs> but anyway, um, on that note, I may end the stream here. We actually, the build turned out pretty decent. I was very stressed in the beginning there. I thought it was a disaster. Um, but <laughs> it turned out being okay in the end, I think. Um, so tomorrow, I always stream in the morning on Wednesdays. Um, we'll be here tomorrow morning. We'll, I think, play some 100 baby challenge tomorrow. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> we'll have a bunch of babies. Um, and I think... Oh, I had a weird dream about babies last night because the, I read my book. I finished my book last night and in the epilogue, the person got pregnant. And then I had a weird dream about babies last night because of the book. Ugh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but we're going to play the 100 baby challenge. Um, and we'll do that tomorrow. 
but anyway, <laughs> let's go see who all is live. We'll find somebody to raid. Um, and then we will go from there. I think, oh, here's a fun one. Um, there's a streamer called Play With May, who I really like, uh, who's doing makeovers in casts for their Not So Berry family. Um, and you know how I feel about Not So Berry. So I might go over there, <laughs> shall we? Um, let's go and say hello, I think, uh, and I will catch you tomorrow. I'm live at 9 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. It's currently 7 p.m. Um, so tomorrow in the morning, Eastern time, but hopefully that's helpful. I also post in the Discord the stream schedule and it adjusts to your time zone in there. If you ever need it, it makes it a little bit easier than me trying to tell you Eastern time, but it's easy to Google if you need help with that. Um, but have a great rest of your night. Happy Tuesday. Um, small Katie, thank you for the 27 months. Thank you so much. And I shall see you all later. Okay. Okay. Bye.